because I had a situation where I had a woman, we were, we were fuck buddies. And this was a chick who would, when she did come over, you know what I'm saying, for sex, she would do extra shit. You know what I'm saying? She would even bring me shit. Um, she was the type of woman that would be willing to cook me a meal and, and take me out on her dime and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So when she hit me up and, and was complaining about the fact that, you know, you don't take me out, uh, what's up with that? And I told her, point blank, that's not what we do. When I get horny, I call you up. If you're free, I step through. If you get horny, you call me up. If I'm free, I fall through. I'm like, that's it. That's what the fuck we do. Women don't get with guys as placeholders. Do you know how hard it is to get rid of a woman who actually likes you? Who actually respects you, actually loves you? Do you know how hard it is to get rid of that woman? And you're not talking about some hypergamy? This is real simple. The reason why women treat you like shit, the reason why women got an attitude with you, the reason why women fucking diss you and disrespect you is because they never liked, loved, or respected you in the first place. Your whole story is cap, bro. Matter of fact, it's big cap. I'm gonna call you the Mad Hatter. What it is is you're lying. You're, 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 you're lying to yourself. That's why you can't make any progress, bro. When a woman meets a man that's valuable and knows who the fuck he is. She knows that she can never overpower a nigga with game or a real dude or, or a man or a man of value or um, and not even to say a man of value because that sounds too much like what other niggas be saying. What I really mean is a man that knows his value. When a woman is dealing with a man that knows his value, she knows that she cannot overpower him. So she ends up saying to herself, well, if I can't beat him, I got to join him. But when a woman is in a room full of dudes that know they value, she knows that she has to submit. And if she don't submit, she got to get the fuck up out of the room. No matter what level she brings it to, how loud she get disrespectful or talks fast, you have to keep your cool. You have to keep it on your energy level. So if you want her to be submissive, you want her to be calmed down, you want her to bring it down a notch, you won't yell louder than her. Talk to her like this. You, yo, I don't do that. I don't know if you talk to people like that, but that's not how you're gonna talk to me. That's not that's not what I do. Now, if you wanna continue to do that, I will show you exactly where the door is. I will escort you out, tell you to have a nice trip, and send your ass right to the gulag. You'll be gone. I don't tolerate that from people in my life. For all you surface dwellers out there and shit, how does it how does it feel following all these motherfuckers on the other side of the streets? talking about don't do shit well if you ain't gonna do shit then why don't you do man shit don't run away from fear don't dwell in the past don't give away your power don't feel sorry for yourselves don't make the same mistakes over and over again don't worry about what people think about you why don't you do some man don'ts if you're gonna do a don't anyway grass eating lion it's sad to see so many men suffer from bitch assness. And the women know there's such a such at an advantage with weak men. They try to shut me up. This is the part of being a man is standing on your squares, understanding that nobody's gonna move me. I move mountains. Nobody's gonna move me off my square. They need to respect your word. They need to be a shift in behavior when you get home. They need to understand what the deal is when you're around them there's no such thing as compromise with men compromise you should be yeah, fucking at the truck all day mm -hmm. all the day That's the fucking, these conversations uh, are obviously yeah. too in depth they're too in depth with these bitches man what, what are we talking about you're a truck driver bitch I come in every state and I fuck hoes that's what I do <laughs> and you, you gonna be one of them or I'm gonna find one that will and yeah, I think you know, if, she, if she got an issue, if she got an issue with you not having a place to stay, that means she ain't really feeling you. Um, respect to scary, uh, scary Perry for the five dollars super chat. He says, "Salute to the real Gano Theory panel, best show on Sunday." I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what leaving pussy on the table means because pussy, pussy is not valuable enough to be left on the table in the first place, in my opinion. Exactly. I'll have Christmas lights back there, <laughs> and I'm fucking bitches.
Peace under the light. The following program is rated M-A-N. It contains assertive men who are kings of their castles. Men who don't make excuses or blame women for everything that's going wrong in their lives. Men who don't make the game about women. Instead, they make the game about the man. So, if you're into theory or you soft, weak-ass words like... Hypergamy, red pill, no fap, be on your purpose, high value man, or money, clothes, and status. Buddy, you're in the wrong place, and you need to go two doors down where the male cuddle parties and circle jerks are going on. This is a man's space. Since the fall of the PUA community back in 2007, most PUAs ran underground because they had nothing to offer. The content creator has become the hero today, dedicated to one single objective, to declaw and defang any person who listens. They decided to join forces to create a cult and never giving those who listen a solution. It's all about clothes, cars and money. Deception and manipulation. Indirect game. Going your own way. They talk pills and plates. They complain. They blame. Fake it till you make it. I just don't get it. A man doesn't need to lie to meet women. He just needs to learn how to spit flavour in her eyes and in her ears. Thanos broke down the game when he said, As long as there are those who remember what was, there will always be those who cannot accept what can be. Even in darkness, a man can find light. Sometimes the world doesn't need a group of fake heroes teaching lies. Sometimes the world needs a group of anti-heroes to bring balance, order and truth to the game. It's time to summon the authentic players of the game. It's time to summon the authentic players of the game. The authentic players of the game. The authentic players of the game. Let it be no confusion. This here is a movement, leveling up, real talk, ain't no illusion Helping all the men see the light, that's right, only bringing the truth You can't deny, that's the vibe, we gon' bring you the insight Bring you the game plan, show them we real men, we ain't never breaking You know what I'm talking about, I know that you hear me, yeah, yeah This is real game, no theory, let's go Real game, no theory, here to make it happen Teach men how to be men, now it's time to put in action Taekwondo and K Zagging, we got Miles in the building, Mr. 1950 and Steve the Dean Williams, Mr. Lucario and the anti-villains, we gotta keep it real, this ain't about hurt feelings, uh, speak the truth, gotta say it loud so you hear me, real game, no theory, they don't want you to be who you destined to be, real men are necessary, not accepting defeat, talking the man mindset, uh, and this is the time now, we will never fold, never fall off or bow down, time to make it happen, we ain't even stressing, so many don't take accountability for their actions, I gotta say it louder, if you don't really hear me, speaking the truth, this is real game, no theory, uh. Right, we up, we in this one. What's going on? Yo, 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 yo. All right, let's get it from the the bottom up. Uh, start with that chocolate motherfucker at the bottom. Let's get that. 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 Let's get Let's go, man. 50, I, I, I seen you getting haters now, 50. So, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. We love the haters. <laughs> yeah, I made, it, I made it. Nigga, I got a hater. Man, I love it, man. Man, shout out to y'all, brothers, oh, man. That motherfucker watching right now. I know he is. Yeah, oh, he yeah, watching. yeah. Smoke, smokey watching, man. You know what I mean? I, I'm. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just happy I got my first little hater, man. And uh, I'm not going to mention them ever. But, you know, I, hey, I appreciate the hate, brother, man. You know who you are out there, man. Uh, and, and, and man, I appreciate the panel, man. And you know, I've been watching y'all, y'all channels, man. Y'all putting out great content. Y'all support these brothers, man. Yep, All yes. right, Zach, you up, my brother? All right, man, let's get it as we always do about this time. Uh, good to be back amongst the fellas, man. We got this game. Let's go. 
Steve D wins, man. Mindset, guys. Hey, fellow on the chat. Hey, uh, I the, the the book date is dropped at the end of the month. The book will be dropping, fellow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, Steve, Steve put out the Bible. That's the that's the yeah. next Bible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it drops right. at the end of the month. Miles, you up, big dog. Hey, man, what's going on, everybody? So check this out, man. I got the uh, I got the beets, cucumber, watermelon lemon and ginger right here you feel me so get healthy with your bitch ass all right now let's get let's get this game going miles you know being healthy is beta you know that right being healthy right. is beta. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very beta but where's the grape soda at man <laughs> grape soda. yeah yeah it's a great soda and shit all right zach you up brother your topic your thoughts what you got man you know often hear guys talk about how it's not their job right to instruct women, uh, guide women, uh, give women a sense of direction, that it's their parents' job, right? And so this is what I want guys to know. Women are not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But women aren't going to come to you as ready-made wives and girlfriends. Mm -hmm. So and I, want, I, I want guys to understand, for all you guys that feel like it's not my job to train her how to treat me or none of that, it's her parents' job. My thing is, let's assume for the sake of argument that her father is a masculine, dominant, assertive dude, and he runs his household that way. So right. his daughter is influenced by this. She's influenced by what she's saying, that the mother is a submissive one, the father is, is the, the dominant, assertive one. So when she gets to you, and you're nothing like her father, you are the opposite, you're going to have problems with that woman. And what a lot of guys don't understand is your woman has to be more influenced by you than anyone else in her life mm. or anything else. So if you're the type of dude where you cannot influence your woman, there's going to be somebody outside of you, whether it be her parents, her friends, society, that has more influence than you do. So instead of looking for a woman to be perfect, you have to train that woman how you want her to be for you. you Training. 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 Really? Real shit. I, I want to say this real quick. I just want to remind people there's a new number uh, at scrolling at the bottom, 919-647-9392. So that's the number to call in, 919-647-9392. So call into that number to scrolling at the bottom so you guys could uh, check it out. I'm going to post it in a second. I'm just getting it together right now. Right. And so I, I'll just say this about the topic is that, see, when 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 men, and April's putting in the chat too, so shout out to April, uh, when, when men are looking for women to be perfect, what they don't understand is, is that you, there's no perfect woman, right? That means that if you want a woman to be perfect, she has to be perfect in your image, which means that you have to teach a woman how to be perfect for you. So that comes from a lack of understanding game and a lack of understanding yourself and, and inexperience with dealing with women. So when you're not experienced dealing with women, you think women just come ready made and you're looking for that perfect woman. But what you have to understand is, is that you have to know yourself so you can tell the woman how to be with you. That's how it works. You understand? So she, does, it, she doesn't know how to be with you, but she's not going to know how to be with you unless you teach her how to be with you. And you can't teach her how to be with you if you don't know who the fuck you are. If you don't know what you want, you can't teach her how to be with you. So this is why some a lot of times guys get with women and they're like, yo, she was doing this and she was doing that. She was acting funny and this. And, and I'm like, yo, that's your fault because you didn't know how to create a situation for her to be under. So that's all on you. And this is why you don't, you're don't you having issues with women because you're having issues with yourself. Any guy who really understands himself and has a certain direction, has a program and has a structure for his life to, to, to fit a woman into doesn't have problems with women because the woman is looking for that structure. She's like, okay, this is, this is what you're about because this is the thing. If a woman is interested in you, She's feeling you. She sees value in you. She wants to please you. She wants to stay around. So she's basically saying, what do I need to do to stay here? And if you can't let her know what she needs to do to stay there, then she's not going to stay there because you have no fucking program. It's that simple. Yeah, you right. know, I wanted to say something real quick. Nathaniel, you're full of shit. It's not the <laughs> fucking father's uh, the job. The father's job is to make sure his daughter knows how to read, write, educate it, Know how to say please, thank you, yes, sir, no, sir, and that's it. That's where it starts. See, mm -hmm. a motherfucker that doesn't have structure is always going to put it on somebody or something else. And mm -hmm. when you have structure as a man, you are the, the rule, the law, and the code. She mm -hmm. doesn't come into this game uh, with a, 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 a the pussy stalk, doesn't come down and drop it with a perfect bow, that, and she's packaged perfectly. 
doesn't work that way, brother. When you have a standard, she's got to run to your <clears throat> program, your program, not her father's program, because she's not sleeping with her father. She's mm. sleeping with you. So if she's sleeping with you, you got to be the standard. Mm. You've got to have, you got to have before you walk out that door, your mission statement, your vigorous statement, your legacy statement. You got to have your laws, your rules, your codes, your principles, and your narratives. Because if she doesn't, if she's out of order, you got to throw her back into the water if she doesn't follow your structure. So don't sit around here and blame dear old dad because some of these women don't have dad in their lives, whether dad is there or not, because dad could be in the house or dad could be of the house. So it has nothing to do with the father. It's the fact that you can tell what you are by what you say. And I promise you this, these guys on this panel, they about the game because they about that real ass shit because guess what? They're not going to put up or tolerate any woman that is going to not follow said program. That's all I wanted to say, gentlemen. That's real shit. But see, that's what happens when dudes be be trying to expect other men to do the work for them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's why, that's why these guys are going overseas. They're like, man, these guys did the work for us, so we could just yeah. go here and... You know what I'm <laughs> And, and, and I'm going to say this, too. A lot of uh, Bible holding guys, you know, I'm a, I'm a God guy, but a lot of times they they want even the Bible to do the job for them. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? They they, they they want they want the word. Uh, they want these women to follow these words. So by the T so that they won't have to give the woman structure and instructions. Right. So what's amazing to me also, if you look at at, at most men, know that that have. Uh, women in their life you can you can already see that they already know that they got to reset this woman when she comes up in your life mm-hmm. you got to hit the entire reset button you right. gotta you gotta and i'm gonna use these words you gotta tear them down to build them back up into the image of you and, and, and what i definitely mean even even the way that she does things normally she's going to take some things that she actually likes from the other guy and try to implement that in you. That's what she's going to try to do. Right. But this is not who you are. A lot of you men indoctrinate are indoctrinated by women's influence. So what you do is you'll ask her, Hey, so where, where do you want to go tonight? Uh, what, what, what do you want to, uh, you like this? You want to eat here? Oh yeah, no problem. I, yeah, we can go, we can do whatever you want to do. I'll, I'll just be the, the guy. I'll, I'll make sure I drive you bitch ass men are out here allowing women to lead you because you have no vision yourself you want this you want this woman who is lives in total chaos and i always say this because they do they live in total chaos when they're not covered by a man not not a male a man so you when they come in your life you got to reset them and when you reset them you got to make sure your shit's in order in order to indoctrinate her on the right things to do Exactly. 50 says something. I'm going to say something real brief. You said sometimes how a woman will come into a man's life and try to implement things from another man to that man on some build a bear type shit. Bro, yeah. I remember I had this chick I was in a relationship with. And, and a lot of y'all gonna think I mean for what I said to her, but, but I, I got to say this so, so I can illustrate what 50 was saying. She had a husband that, that committed suicide, <clears throat> killed himself, right? So, of course, I'm dating her. And one day we laying in the bed and she tells me, you know, when my husband was alive, I never had to worry about putting gas in the car. Yeah. He would take the car and go put gas in it. So I said, well, go dig that nigga up then. You know what I'm saying? So I, just want, I, just want, I just want people that it was, it was cruel, I know, but but I had to let her know, like, I'm not that nigga. Don't come, me, don't come to me telling me what that nigga used to do so I can then pick up the pieces where he left off. It don't work that way. Got right. It. Uh, nah, nah, brother, you wasn't cruel. You were not cruel. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty, pretty assertive there. Yeah, that that was that was actually that actually made a lot of fucking sense because if if she wanted the nigga that did the same exact shit that that nigga did, then go get that nigga, yeah. right? So you know, don't don't be trying to put that on me. But see that, and 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 if that's the case, then you are gonna have to earn that type of like. How long were you seeing her when she said that? Probably like two plus years at that point. But see, but here's the thing, man. I had no problem putting gas in her car if we were in her car and we stopped. But I ain't gonna get up in the middle of the night and go fill your shit up. That's not what I do. No, and 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 the other thing is the other thing is that was that was even I mean even even though it's been two years, <clears throat> the fact that she had to bring up his name to request gas in her car that's disrespect. Oh hell yeah, that's disrespect. That's why I you say what I mean? 
because that's not how you if you want me to do something for you, that's not how you ask me to do it. You don't you don't need to reference another nigga because I'm not that nigga. If you want gas in your car, then hey, then maybe we come some some type of agreement and you and we could discuss it or you ask me or whatever the fuck it is. But see, a lot of these chicks, they don't understand. They don't understand the, you know, masculine identity. Right. They don't understand the specific differences within men. And, uh, and at the same time, a lot of men don't understand specific differences between themselves and other niggas. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's exactly why there's no such thing as a perfect woman. There's no such thing as a good girl. There's no such thing as wifey material. Mm-hmm. And there's there's no such thing as as any like like. I, cause let me tell y'all something, bro. Like, I, you know, I don't give women no fucking credit, bro. I don't give them none. I don't give them none because until they get with me, like you, you may matter to society, but we all matter to society as far as being productive citizens of a, of a society. But until until we get together, n- none of that shit means anything. Yeah. Yeah. Pay your fucking taxes. Work your fucking job. Get your degrees. Perfect. That's good for you and your life and whatever it is you're doing. But until you come over here, it, once you come over here, all that all, you're back down to zero. You understand what I'm saying? Like we're building from ground zero as soon as soon as we start day one. You build it from ground zero, and you got to show and prove. You got to you you have to. Sh- you don't get no title of perfect. You don't get the title of good girl. You understand what I'm saying? You, you don't you don't you don't get the the doggy treat until you do the trick. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta earn the shit. Everything, everything you do, you gotta earn. And and look, and I don't, and I don't, I don't take this, I don't say this lightly. Mm. You understand? I don't say this lightly because a lot of niggas will hear us up here, and they'll what they hear is slick talk. Mm. You understand? Oh, oh yeah, Miles, you know he talking that shit like he he comparing women to dogs, talking about doggy treats and di- listen. And uh, and, and shout out to the Game Kings too. Definition of a man coming on. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Uh, feature in Tiger Ron Wills, you know what I'm saying? But uh, make sure y'all get y'all tickets, man. Um, but see, see, I don't take it lightly when I say these type of things because when I'm when I'm saying anything about a woman needing to earn her spot or earn the title of of perfect or good girl or whatever. You have to understand that the only reason why I'm confident in saying those things is because I live a life of fucking quality. Mm -hmm. And I live a life of standard. When I say I'm God to these hoes, that means I'm I'm. I'm living close to God. Cleanliness is next to godliness, nigga. Like Mm -hmm. time management, fucking making sure my shit is in order because shout out to Joe Scott. I'm the type of nigga that could tell a bitch what to do because I can tell a bitch what to do. Mm-hmm. But a lot of you niggas, you can't tell a bitch what to do because you can't tell a bitch what to do. Mm-hmm. You understand? And it's it, it's those is a lot. Of, man, I saw a video. I saw a video earlier. This nigga was talking about he got seven different baby mothers, mm-hmm. and he was on a fucking video blaming these hoes for having the, the babies. Oh yeah, I saw that shit. That shit crazy. He studied skeeting in them though. Yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have pulled out, but I don't give a fuck. It's their fault for having a baby, and I'm like, word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, the, and these are the type of niggas. These are the type of niggas that that be that be walking around. Mm-hmm. And and it's sad because and this is how I know bitches ain't shit because these are the type of niggas that bitches fall for. All seven of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying now? Am I even trying to be insulting to women when I say that? No, I'm not being insulting to women. Women are naturally followers. They're just trying to survive. What they need is actual fucking leaders. Mm-hmm. You understand? That's right. So that's why all the responsibility goes on a man. So, th- so again, just to wrap it up, there's no such thing as as a, as a good girl or a perfect woman because. She has to work for that title. She has to c- come into my program. You know, just, again, I use the the, uh, the the Ivy League school analogy. You don't start with a fucking four point GPA, right? You understand? You gotta you gotta you gotta show up to class. You gotta study. You gotta you gotta take every fucking quiz and test and 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 uh, hand in all of your 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 reports on time, and 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 complete all your projects and all that type of shit before I could give you a, a grade or a GPA. You gotta earn it. Mm-hmm. You understand? And and on my campus, 
I don't, I don't fuck with nothing below like a 3.5, bitch. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you yeah. got to come with it, man. You got to come with it before you get a title out here. I like the 3.5 GPA there. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, with nothing below a 3.6. You know what? 3.6 just to be on the... Because I like even numbers, bitch. Out of here. Like, <laughs> uh, I fuck with the odd numbers in, in uh, uh, five. Increments of fives and shit. It's, it's a weird thing. Okay. But guys, uh, call in 919-647-9392. Call in, guys, 919-647-9392, man. Yeah, and if you got a question, put a Q in the chat, and then we can get to your questions and all that other other good shit. You feel what I'm saying? And shout out to Chris Rock for keeping oh. his mouth shut oh. a whole fucking year. Oh. Oh. He can oh. Get oh, I'm about to watch that today. Oh, I watched that this morning. I just, I just saw the clip. I didn't see the whole thing. I just saw the clip oh. he's going in on a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's talking about that and victims. He's talking about how people the the thing people being victims. He break. He talking about YouTube. He going in. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. This is good raw. This is up. This is I, up. I already called him both bitches, though. He needed to do that, though. You, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I, at least at least let's start there. That made me want to watch it. You know what I mean? So <laughs> let's start with the insults. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, we, we doing on calls right now, L? Yeah, we doing on calls right now. All right. So so real quick to. Back to the to the topic where we talk about how you know you only deal with women that fit into your program. Mm. <clears throat> the problem is a lot of guys they don't have a program. Right, right. They walk through life and they're, they're like an amoeba when it comes to women. They kind of bend to the woman's whim. The more attractive a woman is, the more they switch up and do different shit. Right. When these niggas is, you know what, bro? This is the weirdest thing, right? Because mm. I, I've never heard of niggas being pussy whipped before they even get the pussy. Mm. Right. You know, <laughs> Before they even get it, they already doing goofy shit to get it. Normally, mm-hmm. when a woman gets addicted to the dick, it's after the fact, right? These niggas are getting whipped before the fact. So, what a lot of guys do, they're they're very um, pliable, they're very bendable when it comes to women. And once a woman gets with you, she knows just you're really fucking flexible on some yoga shit. You're a flexible nigga, right? right. So, so already. The, the respect won't be there, whether it's a conscious decision or a subconscious decision, because she's going to know, damn, this nigga ain't got no type of structure. He ain't got mm. no standards, because normally what should happen is you're supposed to have standards that a woman adheres to. When mm. you don't have no standards, she just shows up in your life. She don't take her shoes off. She kick her feet up on the coffee table. And a lot of guys, you dealing with that type of shit. Miles, I know you want to say something. You got to Wait, all right, so we got we got we got a call. We got a call. 281, 281, 281. You're on live with the real game note three panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? 281. Uh Steven, 47, Houston. All right, Steven, 47, Houston. What's going on with you? Yeah, no, real quick with the K Zag and stuff. Yeah, when I first heard him say that, I was like, dang, but I didn't have a problem with it. I'm like, it sound do you guys think that she was trying to screw with his mind? Like saying you second, or you know, she's trying to fuck with him, isn't she? So he got to fuck back with her hard, like with that same statement. Uh, and and women, a woman will always shit test you, dog. They're going to test and see if you, you you got it in you. They 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 de- they've dealt with so many men in their life. They they're going to do certain things and see if you're going to react the way she she wants. You got to remember, she's going to want you to be a way too. You know what I mean? So she's she going to shit test you. Well, let me just say this regarding that. That was the last time she brought that nigga up ever again. I just want to put that out there. But yeah. Exactly. Mm. Like, she, because because it stung. You know, you had to sting her. Is that my right? She got quiet and she turned over. She <laughs> <talking>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what's going on. Right, right. Babe, yeah. But, like, Miles, you work in the corporate setting, but you can't say that because, like, you know, you got to, like, in game, you got you guys are freaking game kings, obviously. But in a corporate setting, it, people hear you say that shit, like, here's what I said. You know, you you got to be careful on how you, you know, say this no, stuff. But no, you know saying? No, 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 no. You got it all wrong, brother. That's for guys like you. Guys like us, they want to hear that because they want the structure. So they, they accept I it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I like what K-Zag has said. But if I say it... <laughs> but you're not listening. But if I say if that... You, okay, yeah, because where you're saying it is coming from your diaphragm, big dog. Your, your nuts ain't dropping. That's why you're worried about saying it. That's your problem. You're already worried about saying it because you're worried about what the fuck the bitch is going to say to what you're saying. So that means you shouldn't say I'm it. Not, I'm not afraid of that. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of 
coworkers. I'm t- like I'm talking to a friend in the water. Wait, why, you know, why, are you, why are you talking things other than your job to your coworkers? Why are you talking about other things other than the job, big dog? Well, I get that, but I, I was kind of just saying how society can't take it. I have no problem with what he said. I had no, not a, I heard him say it, and I knew Miles was going to say, you know, good job, and I had no problem with it. But Kay Zaggy said the context sounds harsh, but it was the right thing to say. I'm cool with it. I just, I was saying your coworkers, you know, if they hear you saying or whatever, you but know, why, you, 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 not ready for that, you know, you're 47 years old and you're still missing the mark. Why are you talking that way to your coworkers? Why would you talk that way to your coworkers? No, I learned not to do that. I learned because I actually, because I got my bitch ass on that shit. I was bitch ass on it, right? Call me out, take accountability. Because <laughs> someone said I was disrespectful to women. This I'm saying on a social media, whatever. So that's why I'm that's why I'm saying it. That is a bitch ass move. Do not tell people. Yeah, call her. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you. Call her. Look, here's the thing. One time I was at work and, yeah. and, I, and I learned I learned to just do exactly what Steve said, just just show up, work my little eight, nine hours and bounce. I was at work one time. Yeah. There, there was a couple of women that was on my little team, whatever. They thought that one of our male co-workers was getting married. Right. And he's a gamer and they thought he was getting married to his girlfriend. So so these women said to him, well, I, I guess that's the end of you playing video games. And I stood up and said, no, the fuck it ain't. I said, dog, play all the video games you want. Right. So so. Right. My play, <laughs> <laughs> that those women had an issue with me saying that and kind of like the chick that turned over they they were standing up and they sat the fuck down but but mm-hmm. when you do shit like that and you, you you insert yourself in certain situations it can create issues at work just show, show up and do your job and you don't necessarily have to always talk about your ideologies at work and shit mm-hmm. right and I totally agree with that. And Steve was right as far as I was a bitch ass earlier now I mean as far as that I don't have a problem with Kay said it was good harsh I, but um yeah, I, got, I do have a question on, on the, your topic um, as far as, you know, checking people, checking women, training them. Yeah, I believe that now, you know. That's why I'm 47 and getting game, you know, trying to learn game, guys. You know, y'all, fuck, you know, and y'all kind of not natural, but y'all, some people have a, you guys, because you're, you're just naturally gifted to. What's the, but, what's the question? You know, Did you say you, uh, okay, I heard you say you had a question. Is, so my question is, here, yeah, sorry, I, I do this all the time, Miles, sorry. My question is, I had a chick over who's been fully cooperative, you know, doing, you know, made me dinner, rate it, you know, come, you know, come take care of me sexually. And, but she had attitude when she got over and, um, she told me it was small, but she told me two things like, like, Hey, you need to, uh, uh, you know, fix your smoke detector or whatever, okay. whatever. Right. And I was like, yeah, I, I know okay. I'll get it, but you don't need to tell me what to do in my house. Okay. You're not going to talk to me. You know, you tell me to do that, you know? Okay. And then she goes, you're, and then so time goes by, and she says, your cats need water. I said, you need to go home. <laughs> and she, I said, well, how far, I went back up. I said, you need to be quiet. And, don't, and again, I said, don't say that in my house. I, you're a guest in my home. Okay? And then she wait, did Wait, a, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. She said, so she said, you need to fix your smoke detector, and your plants need water? Mm-hmm. No, no, my cats, my cats. Okay, so why you ain't why you ain't why you ain't tell her to give your cat some water? Thank you. Well, you know that's what I'm saying. Did I did I overreact by trying to check too hard? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's bitches who got beeping smoke detectors in their fucking house. Men don't have that problem. <laughs> Because well, men know I, men know how to get up on the fucking ladder and switch out the fucking battery. That's what men do. I, I, I'm good. Bitches, hey, listen, I listen. Hey, 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 quiet, 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 quiet. You shut right, up now. Right, you be right. quiet now. All right. Remember, remember the, the original joke was how how many how many men does it take to change a light bulb? Why? Because that's what we do. We change light bulbs. Right. We switch the batteries out in the smoke detectors. Shout out to, to, to you know, shout out in recipes to Kevin Samuels. You could always tell the single bitches on Kevin Samuels because them bitches got smoke detectors beeping in the background. Mm-hmm. That's how you know they ain't have no man. What kind of man are you with a beeping smoke detector in your fucking house that your bitch got to come over and remind you? But and you, and you got you, nerve. Got you got Monday. nerve. Hold got on. Hey, quiet now, brother. Quiet. All right. All right. You don't talk All right. now. All right. 
Your woman got to come over and, and, and remind you, and then you got the nerve to try to kick her out the house? <laughs> I'm telling you some shit that you should be taking care of. You see, this is what I mean when I say I don't take none of this shit lightly. When I say that I'm telling a woman what to do and she's getting on my program, you, she will never hear a fucking smoke detector at my house. Nigga, are you stupid? <laughs> this is what we're talking about, gentlemen. If your shit is not in order, you can't tell a woman what to do. If you have no program, what is she gonna? What are you putting her on? Mm -hmm. If your cats are over there starving, the least you could have done was be like, "Hey, baby, go go take care of my cats for me. I'll I'll leave that duty to you." It was a million cats, hilarious. <laughs> that, was, that was that was that was pretty lame right there. What he did, you know Come what on. I mean? Like, and, and at the end of the day, uh, uh, caller, at the end of the day, man, you you gotta know you gotta know. What place you're in in life, All right. and if you understood that, and and if you understood that being responsible is like at one of the biggest things that you have, being responsible to yourself, and 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 when she has to remind you that what she's basically saying is, man, some kinks in your armor here, mm -hmm. and you much. get mad, you get mad, you got mad because you saw the kink, and you was like, man, fuck that, get out, you're a guest, get out. Heavy dude, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why I feel some kind of way about it because you know, yeah, I got you. Bang. It's called being insecure, though. That's being insecure. Yep, yep. You yep. see, no, you, you, right. you, you, you want to know what happened? The 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 insecurity. That's what caused you to react the way you reacted because she was reminding you. Right, she that's was reminding right. you right. that woman was reminding you of where you was falling short with your own fucking responsibilities, and it made you angry. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why, exactly. That's why I snapped. That you guys, the, the light shine on it, dude. Because God, because dude, if you was a cool, wow. if you was a cool, confident nigga, you would have been like, listen, baby girl, go take care of the cats. The kibble is in there, and the, and the, and just get them some water from the tap. And while you do that, I'm gonna go switch out this fucking smoke detector because I've been meaning to do it all week. It's right. just been in my mind. I appreciate you for reminding me. That's how you handle that type of situation. Yeah. You don't react like no, a fucking I've bitch. I agree. Caller, listen. What what it should have made you do was say to yourself, even if you had to reflect on it after she left. Damn, she's noticing that I'm like the days ago in my life. That, mm -hmm. that I, didn't mm -hmm. up, I had a lot of loose ends going on, and and you got to understand when when women build with a with a man because women themselves are so indecisive and they're kind of like the days ago with shit like mm -hmm. Miles is saying. They got to smoke detector beeping. The last thing they want to do is date a man that reminds them of themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Damn. Yeah. You're right. So what's my move now? Like, I, I mean, I can't go groveling back, but it's, you know, what, what's yes, the move Groveling now? back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all jump back. You need some coaching. You need some, coaching. You, need some, you need some coaching, bro, because if you're acting emotional on that little uh, thing, they're, they're, that's spilling all over into other parts of your life, man. Can, can, yeah. I, remind, can I remind okay. everyone that we're talking to a 47-year-old man? Yeah, that's our point. Yeah, so, hey, hey, Carl, let me ask you a question. Have you? When's the last concert you went to? When's the last concert you I'm went sorry? to? When is the last concert that you went to? Shoot, that's, you know, probably early 20s. No, I say, okay, early 20s. But when you went there, did you have a good time? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You wanna, but do you want to know why you had a good time? And you don't even see it. Because you know what? Whatever you listen to, maybe with some quiet riot or rat or whatever the, you yeah. know, those, 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 you know, White, you know, White, those, White those, Zombie, Def Leppard and shit. Def Leppard, Kiss, yeah. or whatever the fuck you watch listen to. Yeah. But the thing is, is before they, before you got in the doors, they did this thing called sound check. Oof. They sound check the music. They mm -hmm. sound check the lighting. They sound, and Lucario knows, and if it, it, motherfuckers that, that, that have a, a art, like an artist, they sound check and make sure everything is airtight before mm. they open the doors. Right. So you right. never sound checked your crib. So she should never have to come in and tell you what you should be doing because everything should be air motherfucking tight. Right. That's, you, that's where you're feeling, brother. Facts, facts, Steve. I got you, brother. Yep, you're right. Yeah. It's a hard pill right now, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. 
What right. Carla? What, what's your what's your what's your uh, what's your proximity to this woman now? Did you you kicked her out, and that was the last time you heard from her? And how long ago was this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This two days. Two days. What? What? And what? What, what, up much. what? She's been calling you. No, 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 no. I'm saying before that, I had to kind of. I had dude. This she was so into me. Like okay. I mean again. Okay, like, so since yeah. so since so since then she hasn't called you and you haven't called her. I yeah, like I yeah, no. And how mm -hmm. how long you been That's talking to this girl? How long you been talking to her? Just a month. It's just a month, but a you month. know, yeah. And and how and how did you kick her out? Did you kick her out calm and cool like a real nigga would, or did you like fly off the handle and get emotional and, and, and tear her to get the fuck out of your house? <sighs> No, no, I, 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 you know, I, I went harder. I just said you need to go. That's all I said. Well, Miles, you could tell he, he's, yeah, not, he's not. He's not. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious because he says something that caught my attention. <laughs> you could you tell said, that you've you been driven with this chick for a month. Uh huh. Has she ever spent the night over there? No, no, no. But. Yeah, I mean, by, you're bringing me dinners during the week and stuff like that. You know, I'm like, you know, I don't know if that's, you know, but oh, he, I, he, he has, he has never hit the bottom in his life, dog. Call her, look, let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And, and I love women, but this is sometimes what, what women will do, right? Especially early <laughs> on. Uh -huh. When they want access to you non-sexually, they'll do certain things that require for that to happen. Like bring you something to eat. Because guess what you got to do? Or guess what you're probably going to do? Eat it in front of her. Mm -hmm. which means they're talking mm -hmm. and you ain't fucking. Mm. So if you've been mm -hmm. dealing with her for a month, if she wants to bring you something, put that shit in the refrigerator, wear it out, send her home, pop it in the microwave and eat that shit. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> in that That's, order, nigga. In that right. order. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay. I wrote that down. <laughs> oh man. Hey, who's who's uh who's pro, who's who's uh coaching on you on? Who who you get coaching from, Cola? I, I'm on the bad boy membership, so it'll be it'll, you know, Mr. Sicario. Oh, yeah, wait. Embarrassing us. You need to get some real coaching with Lucario, man, but I'm going to let you go. Exactly. Uh, Hit me up for one on one coaching, bro, because. Yes, All right, yes, so we got 323. 323, three, 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 what's going on with you? You're mm -hmm. live on the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? 323. 323, three, 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 what's going on? Caller, you're going hey. to need to, you're gonna need to, you you're me? gonna meet, mute. The show or turn it off in the background. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, so um, I am still dealing with a lot of. Hold on, anxiety. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Listen. Name, age, Got it. City. city, and city. Yeah, name is Parsa. Um, Twenty-five, living in Berkeley currently. All right, go ahead. Yeah, so um, I I'm an attractive dude, but sure, I don't, sure you are. I, sure I, you are. I, I, don't, I can't stand sure, huh? uh, Why y'all? Why you? Why do you say? Why do you start off with that weak ass shit, dog? Sure. I'm gonna tell you, man. Berkeley, Berkeley people don't know this is Berkeley, California, man. There's a whole lot of weirdos in Berkeley, bro. Like that. That is where they breed weirdos. Right. Call it, call it, call it, Please, just do yourself a favor and just get to the question, and then we can find out if you're a good looking dude after that. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. The question is, well, so I was dating this chick who was psychopathic and she was sleeping with multiple people at the same time. And I didn't the... really realize it. Okay. Until we... recently. Okay. And what's the question? The question is, um, that I'm so like entang. I was like, yeah. So, with this so, chick so what's the, what's the question? That... So what's the question? Though? Tangled with the chick? What's call the question? Call her who, what, where, why, when? What's the call question? Her, her. You keep digging. Every time you open your fucking mouth without a question, you dig yourself a hole. Please just ask the question, bro, and then we'll go back if we need to. Please. What do I need to do right now to meet more women and just kind of like not give a fuck about uh, and protect myself going forward so I don't get in situations like this anymore? Did you say protect yourself? Okay. So, okay. So now, so now. What what made this chick psycho? I have a type, which is these chicks that know that I am vulnerable. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 stop for a second. So, wait, what what made this woman psycho? Huh? What made her psycho? She just is. She no, just but, is. 
Give us yeah. an example. What did she do that made you think she's psycho? The fact that she's like sleeping with other people and not being honest about it. And um, hey, yeah. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, how long you been seeing this woman? She's fucking all up in my shit. She's call all her, up in my shit. Call her. How how long you been seeing her? How long you been seeing her? I've been I've been seeing her for over a year. Okay, over a year. So. Are y'all 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 together? That's your girlfriend, or just a girl you fucking? It it's a girl. Honestly, it's just the girl I'm fucking. I'm only fucking one girl right now. <laughs> okay, so okay, so now you said she's fucking guys in your house. Is that what you said? No, no, no. Luckily, it's not that bad. But you know, she's definitely seeing other guys and stuff. Okay. I don't care, but it's the fact yeah. that she tried to have a with no condom and shit. So I already know she was trying to baby trap me if she had the chance. Wait, wait, hold on. You said wait, wait. You said she was trying to trap you with a baby. Yeah, if she had the chance, if she had the chance, she but, would have done it. Because oh, she's so smart. She has like other people nut. She has so she times like whoever she sleep exactly. Yeah, I see you. I see you with that condom. <laughs> I see you. But the truth is, like, also she she yeah. Also, like you know, uh, you're noticing you're using a lot of she. The wrong person. You, you're noticing that. Are you noticing you're using nothing but she? Right. You notice that. I got a question for the caller. Caller, how do you know all of this? How do you know she's letting dudes nut in her? She's timing yeah. it up. How huh. do you know all this? Yeah. How do you know this? Just small. Her pussy was funky, and her friend, uh -oh. to, her friend would like get, look at me weird, and then I was like, okay, what? So I messaged her friend. Her friend's like, I need to talk to you. And then yeah, call her, call her, call her, call her. She mirrored everything to me, and I fell for the oh, okie doke. Listen, listen. I fell you for the guy that, that I heard on the live stream that that did shit like this. You never ever reach out to a woman's friends and ask them any fucking thing about her. You right. Don't talk to them about any of that. You, you're making yourself look look weak, bro. I got it. Man. Yeah, call her. Why? Why do you care that she's fucking other dudes? Uh, I don't. Well, I kind of, I kind of, because because I because I was because I had this idea in my head that she wasn't like that. So it's like the trust is betrayed. I don't really care if she's fucking other dudes. It's just the fact that she's not honest about, dude. Your dick is not ten inches. It's not big enough for me. And I and I used to sleep with other dudes, and I have a bunch of male orders and male. Yeah, okay, I got it. So, so, so you feel you feel you feel inadequate. You feel inadequate because she's fucking other guys, and you think they got bigger dicks than you. Is that what it is? I'm, well, yeah, that's what it seems like. Yeah, that's what, what, what it what seems what like. What do you mean? What do you mean? Call her. Let's 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 make sense of this. So, are you saying that when y'all first started fucking? There was a tightness that's no longer present. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. Oh, you hitting the wall no more? You, you just falling through that motherfucker? That was going on with you? <laughs> you're like, hello, hello. Is that going back to you, nigga? That was going on? <laughs> wait, let me stop. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> so wait, wait, call it. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. If you guys are not together, y'all are not in a boyfriend girlfriend relationship. Doesn't it make sense that she will fuck other guys? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it does make sense. Right. So and, and, and why aren't you fucking other women? Because he can't fuck. There's nothing wrong with me fucking other women. The thing is, I think I have to just keep going out and meeting other women. I just don't I have so little tolerance, social tolerance to like get them their numbers and get them back. I had a chick over the other night and I knew that you know, I, I don't want to deal with sluts, man. I want to deal with higher quality women. <laughs> so, you know, so, so, so you telling me you don't you don't want a a, a nice slut to uh, fuck when you when you're with in a relationship? You don't want her to be a slut. Actually, well, yeah, shit, I do want her to be a slut, but I don't you, want to. You're, you're, you're confusing. Me. Right. In order for her to be a slut, she would need some practice, though, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs>
<laughs> well, they're not being freaky. They're not being freaky enough. They're trying to like. So, so, the, so let me ask you this: What's the difference between a woman sleeping with a thousand men, or sleeping with one man a thousand times? What's the difference? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now I'm just asking you, caller. What, what's the difference between a woman Terrible. sleeping with a thousand different men? Hey, 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 you on the wrong fucking show, nigga. Hey, hold on. Did you say Parabon, nigga? <laughs> no. I, wa- I want you to notice this. I want you to notice this real quick. Notice these are the type of guys who worry about body count and pair bonding. Listen to his voice, as Steve would say. <laughs> call her, call her. Why, did you, why did you call into this show? Call her? Uh... Yeah, I just I just want to see what the fuck to do at this point because I want to meet other women and I want to deal with other women, but I'm yeah, not. Can, I don't want to deal with a woman who's not satisfied with like. You six want a nun? You go find a nun. I want to deal with. And women. a nun normally had a pass, so you you gotta you gotta pray that the nun is is going to be have a low body count for you, brother. Oh, hey, call, yeah. call her, so do you have do you have a do you have a high sex drive? Do you like to have sex a lot? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so now, yes. now, now, if you have a girlfriend or a girl you're dealing with, right, aren't you going to want her to want to have sex a lot? Yes, but this bitch isn't doing that. She's barely was talking with me twice a week. And even then, we haven't said sex in two months, two or three months. Now. It's saying it's your girlfriend. Why, why are you tripping? Yeah, yeah. she's not your girlfriend. Though. Twice a week is, is a lot, bro. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, that's, a whole, that's a whole lot. He ain't hitting the bottom. He ain't fucking. Uh, uh, his uh, game is weak. Your fuck game is weak, man. Yeah, you ain't. You don't know how to fuck. Your fuck so game wait, is weak. So call her. So why? Why didn't you? If you want this girl to be your girlfriend. Uh. uh just say yes. Just say I don't. Yes. I don't think. So. I don't think it's the right person because she's got way too many male friends and shit. I don't want to deal with that. She's insecure as fuck. She's insecure. Call her. Call her. If I already asked you a question and you tap dance around the question, what you should have said, bro, at some time when we was having entanglements and I was very vulnerable, I did want her to be my girl, but not now. Mm-hmm. Would, would that be accurate? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know. I know. Exactly. I know. I know. So, so call her. So, so you don't want her to be a girl, but you're only seeing her, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm, only, I'm only fucking her, and I haven't even fucked her for like two months now, basically. Right, and, and you're too lazy to go get another woman, right? That is not your bitch. This is tr- yeah, this is true, and I agree with everything you guys are saying. Okay, so so basically, you're 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 the problem, bro. You, do you understand this? Yes, because you came on here talking about she's psycho. There ain't nothing you said that she did that psycho. Right. To be all the way real, he the psycho one calling her friends. That's some psycho. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You're the psycho, you, bro. You know that, right? You, You're the crazy dude. You called in. You called in our show. You ain't fucked this bitch in two months, and you're asking about her. Uh, she, she, she's 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 definitely influenced you, bro. I, I I didn't I didn't fuck with her for two months, but she came over and I fucked her like two or three weeks ago. But she's dry as fuck, and she sucked my dick like. I don't know. I just can't. I need. I can't get rid of her for some reason. So I gotta just fucking. No, no, bro. you can't get her out of your mind I'm for some reason. I'm dealing with. I, I gotta call you. Get over approach anxiety and just Caller. change my attitude towards Caller. sex in general. Caller, listen, listen, because you, you sound very emotional. You sound like you've been crying. Look, listen, <laughs> listen. Don't say you can't get rid of her. Say I can't get her out of my mind. Is that right, you in love, bro? You you love this girl, don't you, Carla? You love her, right? I fell in love with the hoe. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you a <the> bitch! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my Bro, god! You ain't no player. Read my lips. You ain't no player. <laughs> Wait, so call her, call her, just listen, just call it a day and wife her up, bro. Just just have her as your girlfriend, man. Like you you know you want her as your girlfriend. Just stop nah, playing. Fuck all that. Marry her, bro. Right. I heard I heard, I heard getting married is easy over there in California. Just go, you know. <laughs> it, it is. It is. 
Yo, all right. So, I'm see. Uh, Carla, you still there? Uh, all right. Let me see if I could do this. Yo, all right. yo, I did this fucking Skype shit different. Anyway, six three zero. What's up? You on the you on live? Uh, hey, real hey, game, no theory. Name, age, city. How can we help you? Yeah, yeah. This is Randall. I'm 24 and I'm in Chicago. All right. What's up? What, up, right. what up, Randall? All right. So I'm at the club yesterday, and then I was messing with these hoes. And then them hoes wasn't giving me no action. Cause I went on to the next bitch. And tell me one of them hoes I was messing with come over there and grab the bitch I'm talking to away. Okay. Yeah, I, I just walked away. They weren't talking to the more bitches, but like, how 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 is the player going to play that? Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Now listen, uh, three four seven. I'm a, you got you're on hold, but I'm gonna need you to to mute the show in the background. Turn that shit off and put, put it on mute. Now, 630, what's your question? You trying to figure out how to deal with cop-blocking ass bitches at the club? Is that is that what we basically talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to find out what makes them hoes. What do they do to be hoes? Yeah. Yeah, because they, they, they ain't fucking, so they can't be hoes, right? Yeah, well, they ain't fucking you, so why are you calling them hoes? You mad at them or something? <laughs> no, no, I'm not even mad at them. It's just that they got piercings like all over their face. That you can tell. You can look at them and tell. They trash. So they're hoes because they have piercings. So, so, so what? What made you go approach their friend? Because a friend, a, a friend of a hoe is still a hoe. So why are you approaching her then? <laughs> No, I'm saying I, I approached another group of women. I approached another group of women, and then the, the other girls came over there. Mm. Oh, so you you approached a non whole group of women, and then the whole group came over and fucked the <laughs> shit up. Exactly. So how many how many women was in this non whole group? <laughs> All right, like like two or three. Like two or three, and then how many women was in the whole group that came over? <clears throat> Like four, so now you you up against seven bitches. So, they, so were they together or they they just kind of just randomly just came over to 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 foil your plans? Randomly came over to mess me up. Yeah. Okay, so so th- so your night was ruined, huh? <laughs> no, no, I, I talked to more bitches after that. You talked to more bitches after that. So why are these bitches still taking up space in your mind for you to call us about them? <sighs> No, I, I just want to know, like, like how could I wanted them all though? You follow? I wanted them all. You follow? You wanted them all? Yeah. Oh, nah, I, I don't want all bitches, bro. You, you yeah. can you can have about ninety five percent of them. He wanted the hoes and the non hoes. He wanted yeah, everybody. Yeah. You, you let, me, let me ask the color a question. Let me ask the color a question. So, so the the first group where they kind of just you know just and dismissed you, you didn't get into an argument with them, did you? No, no, I just I just walked away. I give them I try to give my number, they ain't want my number, so I just walked away. Right. right. So so, so Carla, you want to you understand that not every bitch gonna feel you, right? You understand that, right? All right, all right. I, I give you some ass. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, ho, 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 no, no, no. I just bro, take it easy. I'm just asking you, do you understand that not every woman is gonna feel you? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I know that. Okay, so what's the problem with this situation? Why is this situation bothering you so much? No, no that, that was it. That was it. That's all it was. Okay, so so you just needed to call in to be reminded that not every woman that you approach is going to feel you. I guess so, man. All right. All right. Well, you have a great ego. You have a, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad we can help, brother. You take it easy, man. Just keep approaching. Keep doing your thing, man. Stay strong. They called him the whole collector in the chat. <laughs> Why are they making so mad that all the bitches ain't gonna feel it, man? Uh, all right, 347, 347. You on live with the real game, no three panel, name, age, city. How can we help? 347. You on live with the real game, no three panel, name, age, city. Yo, turn off the show. Turn off the show in the background, brother. New York. Turn off the show in the background. We can't do that. Yo, bro, if you want to hear yourself talk right. live, then you got to hit it on the playback, nigga. It don't it don't work that way. All right, my, my bad. All right so just uh, so let's get straight to it. Uh, how do I deal with girls uh, spreading rumors and shit like that? <laughs> Wait, are you in high school or elementary school? You yeah, in elementary he, school? I'm in college, man. You're only twenty. All right, let me get this straight. Are you calling us about an elementary school fucking problem like you a fucking woman? Are you serious? 
No, nah, bro, like like some of the drugs. Hey, man, hey, man, so what's the rumor? Tell me what the rumor is. What is the rumor? Rumor. They be saying I'm gay. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yeah. I don't know if y'all saw that video where them two dudes are sitting together, sitting for a chair, and hit the smaller dude, and he start and he start hugging the, the bigger dude and rubbing on his chest and shit. I'm the first one video. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so. <laughs> hey, okay. So who's these chicks that's saying you gay? This is a chick you fucked with, a chick you you what ha- what happened? How you know these women? All right, so so like I mean, usually like there'll be some chick that I might have tried to talk to but I couldn't close a deal or some shit. Or they might just be girls that I haven't gotten to talk to, but like because of that, they might say some like real slick shit like that. And it's like so, so kind of messing up. So my you're saying they're 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 real revenge oriented and wanted to shame you yeah, because they got a gay vibe from you. So they got a gay vibe from you and then you, they try to shame you. Is that what you're saying? No, I don't really give them a gay vibe, but I guess it's because I don't really like try to talk to that like that. So what much. makes you what makes you special to make these women want to go out and do this to you? Right. Because I've never had a woman do that ever. How, how often, how how often does this happen? How often does that happen to you? Enough for me to get pissed off by it. Like, um, I mean, so that means they've been a lot of people have been saying you're gay, right? <clears throat> I guess so. Yeah. Are you? Are you Wait, gay? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gay? Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. How did you know that there was a rumor about you being gay? Because, like, I, I don't know that, like, talking about me type shit. Like, like when I walk past, they'll be like, "Oh, there goes the nigga." Like. I want to know the point where you knew that this this chick or these chicks spread a rumor that you was gay. Like, how did you know specifically that this was happening? Like, I'll go to an event and like they'll see me and like I'll walk past and I'll just hear them like talking all that shit. Talking what? What did they say? What, they say? Hmm? what did they say? What shit were they talking? That you heard them say specifically, call her. I don't know, just like all types of like, oh, call her, call her. Oh, oh, no, no, no. See, this is what's wrong with y'all niggas. Y'all be saying shit and thinking shit is happening, but shit be all in your head because you feel some type of way about some other shit. If I'm saying, did you, you try to holler at a chick? And the chick, you did you go up to a girl and say, yo, girl, what's up? What's popping? And she was like, wait a second, I heard you were gay. You're not gay. Like none of that happened. Like, how did it, how did you know that they were specifically saying you were gay? How did you know? You know did they call you do that? There were these two girls, right? They like come close to me. So like all right, I talk to them. And like they'll they'll like still be close to me. And I'll hear them say, Oh, I don't really want to mess with them. You kind of seem kind of sweet type shit. And then they'll walk no, off and they'll go talk to you. So wait, wait, wait. So a girl, because a girl, so the girl told you in your face that you were sweet? Yeah, pretty much. So no, what did you say to her? And then what? how did she respond to you saying you sweet? What was the, the thing you said before she said you were sweet? Stop it. I don't know. I was just like talking to her. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, uh, call her. What the fuck did you say? And then her response was, you were sweet. What did you say? Uh, I asked her for a name and like, you know, because it's like college. I asked her like, uh, what type of shit you get involved in type stuff. Just feeling her out. Sounds and like she it. kind of stops the conversation. She goes with <sighs> and like, she says, mm, I don't know. I think you kind of sweet. And then like, that was the end of that shit. But like, I knew she was like talking to me talking about me so, no, no, okay. so, wait, so, wait. so so how do you know she wasn't saying you're sweet in the sense of oh you're a sweet guy you're a nice guy how come how, you didn't you didn't think about that that's not, that's not how she said it though like she said it like you know that she you know she thought yeah, what, was, that's what i'm saying at what point did you know that there were rumors spreading that you they thought you were gay or people are saying you gay because all she said was you were sweet that could mean oh you're a sweet guy <laughs> right it's like happened with like other girls too like they'll see like i'll be walking in the hallway type shit and uh-huh. they'll, they'll 
say shit in reference to like what I'm wearing or okay. like or I don't like, like what's your what's your what's your Instagram? I gotta stop him. I gotta stop him. Oh, see, see, what's your what's your what's your what's your Instagram? Let me let me let me let me swag check it right now. Let me go. What is your Instagram? What's your Instagram, Colin? Uh, what, what you want me to type it in the chat or what? Yeah, yeah, uh, even it's better, it. even better. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 whatever. Okay, well, Colin, let me ask you a question because you you specifically said oh. rumors were getting spread about you, but it seemed like chicks are saying shit to your face that makes you feel insecure about right. thinking your game. So which is it? Uh, is chicks straight up saying shit to your face? Or did someone come up to you and be like, dog, them chicks over there, they talking about you. Right. A lot of times mm-hmm. the rumor started, someone told you about shit being said about you. Call, you know the mean rumors they say about real men like on this panel? We're assholes, jerks, we're cocky, conceited, arrogant, narcissistic, and we want to fuck them. <laughs> Hey, 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 these are funny motherfuckers out here, boy. <laughs> hey, hey, I keep telling you, one thousand percent. The gator is strong, dog. They, <laughs> see, the, whole time, the whole time he hasn't said anything that indicates that rumors are being spread around him about him. Not one time. He just says some chick said she, that he was sweet. Yo, call it. It sounds like you just self conscious and insecure, like a little bitch. What's going on with you, bro? Like, what's the matter with you? No, nah, bro, like they actually say shit. Okay, like, all, right, all, right, like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Did you put it in the chat? The story. Let's just go with the story. Let's just say they do say mm-hmm. shit. What the fuck does it matter to you, my nigga? Right, exactly. Why do you care? No, but it's like I'm still No, 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 to, like, no. Listen, listen what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying. Is anything that you're trying to do being stopped or hindered or obstructed by anything any of these fucking bitches is saying? Not really. Exactly. So shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and stop being a bitch. You sound like a fucking bitch right now. That's the look. Y'all motherfuckers need to stop eating sugar or something. Like y'all niggas need to start fucking drinking uh (laughs) cider vinegar or some shit, bro. Y'all niggas is so pissed out here, bro. The fuck, yo, wait, yo, Carla, where's your father at? Where's your father? I don't have a good relationship with my father. Exactly. Either. You need to go find that nigga, bro. Don't fucking call us ever again until you start talking to your dad, bro. Cause this is pitiful. This is fucking pitiful. The fuck are you so so why are you so bothered by what a couple of bitches is saying? And like I said, nothing that they're saying is fucking with your life at all. You just over here bitching up like a little bitch. <laughs> so wait. So so call her, call her. Listen, bro. Has any woman that you tried to holler at? Tell you you gay, and that's why they ain't trying to fuck with you. That did that happen at all? Somewhat, yeah. Somewhat. Okay, no, no. What's somewhat? No, no. What? Give us the scenario yeah, yeah, yeah. where you yeah. was talking to a chick and she said, "I ain't fucking with you because I heard you was gay." Give us the give us the example. I mean, not exactly like that, but exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yo, <laughs> hey, 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 real quick, man. Call her. Call her. What is your what is your IG, man? I'm trying to help you out here. What, what's your ID? You fucking clown this shit. What? what? You want me to type that shit in chat or some shit? No, just tell me what it is. Say it, bro. Uh, D underscore money M U N N Y underscore one. Hello, D D what underscore what? M U N N Y. Is this the D money that be calling into all the shows and shit? Nah, that ain't him. This is different. That's, that's no, another no. one. This is, yeah, a lot of these young niggas love to use that fucking name, D money. Fuck D underscore money. So, oh, so, 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 what is it? I, I, I don't know. So, is it D money? D underscore money? M U N N Y. D underscore M U N N Y underscore one M I L L. One mil. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, God bless you when you make it to a mill. Because, oh, 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 that shit. Hey, oh, hey, you know, you know, you know that money only makes you more of what you already are, right? And right now you acting like a bitch. Wait, call her, call her. Let me, let me ask you. So you said that she sort of, kind of said something. Hey, Steve, if you find it, send it to me, dog. No, call her. What, what did a woman sort of, kind of say that made you think she thought you was gay? Give us an, another example. Give us, to a chick. Said, right, like, I'll give you another example. I was talking to a girl, and like. She kind of like stood back and said, I don't know, I think he's bad. Some Aww. shit like that. And it's like, I don't know. Money was an M O or M U? M U. 
Um, so, so you said you hollered at a chick and she, she, said, she said to you that she thinks you're bi? Yeah, something like that, yeah. No, 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 no. Call her. Stop saying something like. I need to hear what the fuck exactly was said. So what did you say to her and to, to, she responded that she thinks you're bi? What did you say? I said, oh, I asked for a name. I don't know. I fucking was. I, 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 yo, her, three, I think it was in nah, November. Bro, I'm, I, can't, I can't. I'm sorry. So I asked her, 347, like, 347. Shut up. Shut up. Call, her, call her. Call her. Call her. Chill for a second. Chill for a second. All right? You just relax. Relax. Yeah. Relax and simmer in your bitch juices right there. All right. So 401. 401. You on live with the real game. No three panel. Name, age, city. What's up? 401. It's a man, Connecticut. Okay, all right, all right, chill, all right, all right, Ethan, chill out, chill out, chill out for a second, stay right there. All right, five, six, seven, you on live with the real game, no theory panel, name, age, city, what's up? Uh, Chance from Toledo, Ohio, 27 years old. All right, man, Chance, go ahead, what's your question? Um, I just got a simple one, so uh, trying to find your wife in the bar don't work. Where do you, where's the best place to find uh? You said trying to find a wife in a bar don't work. What does that even mean? The fuck is that? There it is, Fifth. I said to you. I just said. Oh man, <laughs> this is disturbing. It doesn't Call. work. I what started, is started when I was younger. I was younger and dumb. It doesn't work. I'm a DJ in my city, so uh-huh. that's what I. That's why I'm around the most. And I figured out. I, I kept trying. I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can try. Nah, it don't. I learned that about three years ago. You'll never find it. Call her, call her, call her, call her, call her, call her. Guess where I find my wife? Where at? At a bar. Let, let, let me say something to the caller. <laughs> what are we talking about here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Call her. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. So let's say for the sake of argument, you meet a girl at a fucking church revival. You know what I'm saying? Or some shit like that, right? And let's say y'all get into a relationship. Oh, y'all start dating and, and, and it gets a little serious. And let's say for the sake of argument, she doesn't really go out a lot. She goes every now and again. But when she does go out, she does go out for a drink of wine every now and then to a wine bar with her girls. So are you telling me that she's unqualified to be a girlfriend because she goes out to a bar every now and again? Because just because you didn't meet her there doesn't mean that she doesn't frequent bars. You can meet her somewhere else. Right. Right, right. No, I understand that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I know... You can meet a girl at a church that's a thought girl. You can meet a girl at the bar that's a thought girl. I'm asking, what's the... Th- what's th- the what do you... Th- th- you th- 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 that's the best. That's the best. So, Paul, let me ask you a question. So, what's happening with these women where you're saying that meeting women in that type of environment isn't conducive to actually being in a relationship? What, what's happening to you? What's going on? What happened? Tell us. Just the, the typical man. Uh, oh, I like her, and I'm not vetting her right, and Oh, so you're not vetting her right. You're putting it on her, though, as far as where you met her at, but you just admitted you're not vetting her right. So is it the chick or is it you? No, 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 I'm saying, no, I'm taking accountability. I already know. My dad already told me, you you rather reach, you're going to meet your wife at Walmart before you meet him at a bar, more than likely. He well, told me, and he also, I to go to the bar. Y'all got to be careful, Hold on, Carly, y'all got to be careful when y'all talk about where you meet a chick at, that has nothing to do with what she does on the weekend with her spare time. Y'all got to know. Call her, call her. Think, uh, understand this. It don't matter where you meet the chick. It could be at a bar. It could be on Mars. It could be in the fucking gas station. It don't matter. What what matters is, do you know how to manage a main and maintain a relationship in a situation with a woman? That's all that matters. It don't matter where the fuck you meet her at. <laughs> that make sense? Well, no, the thing is, I, I do. So what I'm saying is, I do know how to do that, but <laughs> you know how bar, I mean, we all know how bars are. I'm a, I'm a DJ. I meet these people. I'm cool, uh, with them, but I would never, ever, ever, ever date them. Why not? Why not? Why, well, hold on, hold on. Why would you not ever, ever date them? Why not? <laughs> main, the main issue that I run into is you can't fix other people's traumas that they've been through in their life. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. So, so a woman that is at a bar trauma because she's at a bar. <laughs> no, the ones that I've met at the bar, the ones that I have met, and I, I'm saying like I'm meeting the wrong ones, but it just like I said, my my main. So I have a main job. I work for a cable company. My second job is DJ. So my main, when I go out and I have my fun, I'm actually working. So that's my hobby. 
right, caller, and caller, 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 caller. What are you looking for? What do you want? Uh, feminine friendly. Oh Jesus! Starts there. Feminine and friendly. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Hold on, caller, caller. Okay, why is a woman feminine or friendly to a man? Why does that happen? We got to be together first. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm asking you why. Why is a, what I'm saying is, let's say you meet a woman. Her name is Christine, right? And she's feminine and friendly to Bob, but she's not feminine and friendly to Frank. Why is why is she friendly to Bob but not to Frank? Why does that happen? Bob, Bob, Bob probably has himself together more than Frank. More than okay. like. Okay, so so exactly. So what we're saying is the way the woman is is based off how the man is. So if the woman is based off how the man is, why are you talking about where to find the wife when you are the one that creates the wife? Does that make sense? Which goes to yeah, the title of the joint. Yeah, we're the leader. I get it. So, so, so that's what I'm saying. You got to get out that mindset of, oh, well, I'm going to find a wife here. I'm going to find a wife there. That's where you're fucking up. That your mindset is, is off when it comes to that, because you don't find a wife. You make a wife. Right. If you go into someone with a bad attitude, you'll never succeed. But, but call it bad attitude has nothing to do with the places the woman's frequent. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, because y'all said like the bar. So in my mindset, that's all I was asking. The well, bar is a better place. Well, well, it was well, see, it was see caller, head, caller, caller. That's the problem. That's the problem. It's your mindset, right, brother. Right. It's your, all of it is your is your fucking right, mindset. Right, right. You, you, you the, the problem is, is that I, I when I when I listen to you talk, I hear a very insecure motherfucker. And I hear what I hear is you deflecting and and mirroring all your insecurities on the bitches that you meet. I don't right. even think there's anything wrong with these hoes. You just don't have a real program to put together. You don't have no faith in yourself no. to make a good woman. I got you. you don't have no faith in yourself to make I a good you. woman, and that's your real problem. So that's why you want to blame it on the bar or blame it on this or blame it on that. No, the bottom line is get your confidence right, get your mind right, start to love yourself, and then maybe you can find a woman that can love you. Right. Let me add this. Gotcha. I, don't, I don't want people to listen. Call listen. I, I want y'all to understand something. Go ahead, man. I personally know women who don't drink, they don't smoke. Clubs and bars is not something that they do, but they are some of the most promiscuous women I've ever met. Facts. But they don't go out like that. Never get, and I know chicks who do go to bars and clubs who are the most fucking, they ain't trying to fuck nobody. You know what I'm saying? So so just understand, never get caught. Bro, is that the, is the money? that The picture with the wrestling, without him too? Bro, the pictures that you taking, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to read the title, and she's texting purple oh. hearts because she know that we are at war. <laughs> this is this is what the fuck these motherfuckers is out here doing, dog. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just okay, saying. Okay. So, so just to sum it up, I just want to make sure I heard that right. It ain't the venue. I gotta, I gotta have my, I gotta be cool. You can, yeah, yeah, you gotta be right. You gotta be right. Your mind gotta be right, brother. You gotta get your mind all the way right, bro. Gotcha. And stop blimps. Anything that's gotcha. going on in your day in life that you're not that, that you're not satisfied it's with is your fault. Exactly. It's not the fact that Absolutely. it's it's not the fact I that you it. met her at the bar. It's not the fact that it's is you know it was a it was a Saturday, nigga. Stop blaming other shit uh -huh. and just get your mind right. Speak to these women straight. Give them a program to be on, and then, and then, and then you can find the full potential inside any female. You understand, brother? There you have it. And also, call yeah, on the way out. Go ahead, go ahead, call it. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I was just—I'm not. So I—I I, I get what you're saying because I'm not a. Everybody that knows me know that they know I'm not insecure. But I think. Oh my god! Aspect, oh my god! Who I gives am. a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Who knows you? <laughs> Call her. You still fucking. You still fucking up. Who gives a fuck who knows you? Do you know you? He said he think he prints. I, that's what I just said. I just said. They say that, but I'm saying with me in this aspect, y'all just made me realize in this aspect, I'm insecure in this aspect. I'm not loving in this. That's what I'm not. Exactly. So, so yeah. So, go figure some yeah, yeah. shit out or get with one of us for coaching, man. 
I got you, man. I appreciate y'all. All Thank right, you. bro. All right, take it easy, man. All right, we got uh, I think we got five, six, seven, five, six, seven. You on live of the Ruga No Theory panel? Name, age, city. How can we help you? Five, six, seven. I think that was me, man. Oh, that was you. My bad. I'm gonna get you the fuck up out of here. Yeah. All right, so we got uh, we got uh, two, six, seven in. Two, six, seven. You on live of the Ruga No Theory panel? Name, age, city. How can we help you? Two, six, seven. Brendan, twenty-seven from Philly. I just had a quick question uh, that I wanted to point out, not necessarily to you guys, but to the people calling in there disagreeing. Talk about a woman being perfect, right? So the question would be, is your program perfect? Not you guys. All the people who want the women to come ready-made. The question to ask themselves, is your program perfect? And just one last thing. A lot of people watched The Last Dance with Michael Jordan, and they said he was very hard on his teammates. Do you... Do you expect way more of yourself than anyone else does? They expect the women to have, they got higher expectations for the women than they do themselves. So right. like, do you hold yourself to a higher standard than anyone else? Right. But that was just my uh, question for y'all, man. But uh, salute to all the gentlemen on the panel. All right. All right. Happy Sunday to y'all. I'm glad you said that. And the problem with a lot of these guys, they want women to come to them with standards they themselves do not possess. Exactly. They want right. women to live a certain type of, of life that they themselves don't lead. See, when you're dealing with a woman and, and you're talking about a woman assimilating to your program, she's le living her life in accordance to how you live yours, not the other way around. Huh. The problem, guys, is that if, if, when you break all of this shit down and you peel everything away, it comes back to insecurity. Got, guys are worried, like, man, if this chick got this going on, if she got that going on, that's going to uh, increase the likelihood that she's going to fuck another nigga. That's going right. to increase the likelihood that she's going to leave me. That's going to increase the likelihood that I'll never be enough because they're so worried about what this chick got going on. But when you bring her in, like 50 said it, okay, you got to break the chick down and build her back up. So she's going to come to you with a lot of habits and some other things that really aren't conducive to what you got going on. When we talk about the vetting process that, that Miles on the call you always talk about is is she coachable enough for her to listen to you and accept instructions so you can strip away the bullshit that doesn't work for you? Or exactly. is she resistant to being able to live up to your standards or adhere to your standards? Depending on what's going on, right. that's where you pick and choose. Get rid of her, like Steve said, toss her back into the water, or she's the keeper. Mm -hmm. She's coachable. She's doing what I need her to do. Cool. I'm a keeper. That's it. All right, all right, call it A, man. No we, 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 we appreciate the insight, brother, and uh, thanks for the call. Respect to y'all. All right, take it easy. All right, so, uh, all right, so, uh, Ethan, man, you still there? Yes, sir. All right, what's going on with you, man? What's up, man? No, I want to uh, thank you guys for the uh, last week that we called um, about my attitude, you know, why it's affecting my relationships. So I started going to our therapy, and I'm doing, um, this yoga meditation and I've been helping them. Oh, oh Ethan, Ethan, I, Ethan, I Ethan, 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 Ethan. I haven't had any uh, stress. Ethan, Ethan, let me teach you some game. This is why the therapeutic you need are the motherfuckers on this panel. Let me explain how therapists fuck you losers over. Mm. All they're going to do is say, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes. How does that make you feel? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. How does that make you feel? Time's up. We'll see you next week. Tell me about your feelings. Tell me how that made you feel. You need to get, you guys, as I said, I said last night, you see, have you ever heard this sound, Ethan? Do, do. I kill you, Steve, bro. Shut the fuck up. Uh, wait, wait, wait a second. You asking a fun question, bitch, and I'm telling you now you're a fucking loser. Now I'm asking your dumb fucking ass, have you heard the word do, do in your life? Have you heard that? Do, do. No, motherfucker. Right, exactly, because your nuts ain't dropped yet, motherfucker. That's why you never heard do do. So as I was saying, while you're going to fucking therapy, you dumb fuck, the motherfucker's gouging you with money because he ain't helping you. He's just letting you talk your feelings out, dumbass. He's not helping you out. <laughs> but this is what's wrong with you, dumb motherfuckers. You got a motherfucker, you got a motherfucker that he's a therapist. He ain't got game. He just helping you with your fucking feelings, dumb fuck. But yeah, you want to you get mad at me? Fuck you. Keep going to the therapist, bitch. Because you're still going to be a bitch you, when you walk in, and you're going to be a bitch when you walk out. Wait, 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 wait. I Ethan, 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 Ethan. I, I thought, you, oh, hold on, Ethan, Ethan. I know. I know. 
Wait, hold on, Steve. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Listen, I thought you was going to therapy. I thought things was stress free. How come you talking about killing people and all this? Nah, piece of shit, dude. Oh, oh, every every week, man. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you, if you get in therapy, you're supposed to rise above it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you know, so you. Nah, so you, you, you feel. No, bro. Come nah, on now. Nah, you, don't, nah. you don't hate me. You just hate you can't be like me, motherfucker. You don't hate me. You just hate the fact that you ain't gamed up like me, motherfucker. You, you, you hate the fact that every time you wake up, you know you're a fucking loser. You get your out of your loser bed, put on your loser socks and shoes, and go to your loser car and drive to a loser therapist that tells Fuck. you're a fucking loser. Steve, where do you live, bro? Where do you live? I live. I live in Winterville. I you can't come. I live in Wintersville, not Loserville. <laughs> Ethan, this is this is see this oh, is a Ethan, test. Bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See Ethan, check this out. This is a test a from God to, to see if, to see if you're changing. See, this is you gotta you gotta you're not changing, bro. I am changing. I am, bro. No, no, you're not because you yeah. still you still talk about where you live and I want to fuck you up. But you're not you ain't changing the same the same same thing going on. And it's not to say you're gonna change in 24 hours, but you yeah. gotta go on that path yeah. to he try, bro. You gotta try, bro. That's that's the issue. You ain't trying. He did that on purpose. Come on, he did that on purpose. Well, on. If, you know, if you know he did it on purpose, then how did you still get caught up in the bullshit, Ethan? Right. I said no until just now. This dude's fucking taking me off, bro. Uh, hey, well, why'd you have that same type of attitude when your bitch ticked you off? But you get mad at you get mad at a man, but you can't handle your bitch, Ethan. Just say I'm a loser. Your therapist is your therapist is writing. He's writing L O S E R L O L. I can't wait to tell the motherfuckers at the job about this sucker. That's gonna sit there and express his fucking feelings like a bitch. He, he did it on purpose. He did it on purpose. I remember when I used to bully motherfuckers. They used to tell the teacher, no, no, he did it on purpose. Uh, uh, Ethan, Ethan, you got you got anything else before nah, I let you go? Huh? Did you have a question or anything before before we let you go? Yeah, I did. Um so um back to the um like when I went to the club last last week, um so like like a yes no question, um Miles, you think so? You're saying you're telling me that if you was like six five and you had muscles and stuff, you want to get more more women than you have now? Nope. That's like nope. Miles, was Miles would no, and you know why? Because like it don't matter now. Like, like what is, <laughs> exactly? You know what I mean? Six five <laughs> buff men don't have no fucking game. You know what I mean? Those that's walking around. Well, y'all watch, y'all watch some of them on YouTube right now. Hold on, real quick, Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. You're you're six, yeah. you're six, whatever, and you got muscles. And didn't you, uh, didn't you lose your baby moms? Loser. Come on, bro. Come on. You hit below the belt, bro. Come on. No, bro. no, no. I'm not. I'm not trying to hit below the belt. I'm just trying to prove a point. Like it's not about. I'm just saying it's not about your muscles. That's what I'm trying to say to you, bro. And it's no such thing as right. below the belt. We're men. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what does that below mean? the belt mean, dog? Like, I, it's a lot of... There's there's no rules in this. There's hey, no fucking hey, boundaries. Hey. Hold on, 1950. Hold your horses, 1950. I'm not going to let you talk to my friend like that. Let me decode it for you. Boo-hoo-hoo. Why, why, why? Boo-hoo-hoo. There you go. You understand what he's saying? I know you miss me saying it. So like, you just got to talk like a man, so you kind of miss me saying it. So, boo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Poor me. You're you're too focused on on the exterior, the visual shit. You know, they're in pit vernacular. There's a saying called, you know, I'm trying to help you out. Listen, there's there's a vernacular. There's a saying talking about having a good catch hand, but you have a horrible keep hand. You can look a certain way to get attention from women. And they might be interested in you because you look a certain way. But but the fact that you lost your baby mama means that you can't keep them, though. So you can't keep a chick with your height. You can't keep a chick being a handsome dude. You can't keep a chick with muscles. None of that shit is going to keep a woman around. Your attitude, your personality, your behaviors, the way that you conduct yourself, your consistency, are you dependable, reliable, those things. Yo, exactly. Say that to my face, though. Oh wait, 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 no, no, wait. He said, "Snip, snip, snip." Wait, 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 wait. 
Did he take to Zagan to say some the, the positive game he just told him to his face? Ethan, are you insane? Yo, Ethan, 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 he just gave he was just giving you some positive constructive game. What do you mean say it to my face? What do you mean? I'm the one calling you a loser. He gave you positivity. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I definitely would say it to your fucking face. I would definitely say it to your face. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a band. You're the you're the big guys that be going to sleep on World Star. You're the about a little short guy in the tunnels. Right. They be getting the ass fucking whooped. Don't don't get. And this is what I'm saying, man. B- most bigger guys can't fight because they normally attempt intimidate bitch ass motherfuckers. Right. So I know. I know for a fact. I'll rather fight bigger dudes than the shorter dudes because them shorter dudes have been tested all their life. Exactly. So, so understand who you talking to when you talking to him. I can tell right now. Say to my face, zagging. I will fucking slap the shit out of you at any Starbucks in this country. I promise you. So if you see 50, if you recognize me, just remind me I'm supposed to say something to your face, you bitch. Let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you what's going on. The people in the, in, the, in the chat asking what did I do. Because I told him that he that he couldn't keep his baby mama, that he lost her. And I wasn't right. clowning him. And we all got exes. We all right. sometimes you break up with the chick until they break up with you. Everyone has a fucking ex. How would we know? How would we know it that you lost your baby moms if you never called up and told us, bro? Yeah, I didn't know you were gonna put that in my face, though. I didn't know you were no, 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 it's not about putting it in your face, is is that you gotta learn lessons from your own life. Mm-hmm. How how bad how, how perfect is the lesson you gotta learn than than what's from your own life? You understand? It's not about putting it back in your face. Right. It's about you learning lessons from your own life and make, learn a lesson from your own mistakes. So I'm trying to get you to understand that it's not about what well, we're trying to get you to understand, that it's not about muscles or or your height or your build. It's about what's in your mind. You understand? And how you influence the woman. So you got to you. So if you really are going to therapy and all that shit, I hope it's really I hope it helps you, bro. But you got to. No, it, it was working. It was working. It was working. Well, oh. wait, keep going. I want to know, uh, does it come with sodium? <laughs> that, I just, I just want to know. You, 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 you agree? Ho, 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 loser. Because <laughs> he, <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Now, now I'm a nigga. A nigga. Now you are call you, me are you, are you, are you black? <laughs> He's green. He's black. Okay. No, he you're, you're up. definitely not black. Okay. Like that. No, okay. very good now. Okay, the, the reason why, one of the reasons why, yeah, on, I want you to listen, and, 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 and Ethan, listen, and stop being so sensitive to what I'm about to say. And I'm not making fun of you or throwing it in your face. You know no, why you are. you are, listen, listen, listen. You know why your baby mother left you. You And you know that part of the reason she left you has to do with your personality and, and, and how you conduct yourself. So, so if I have a friend, for instance, who's an alcoholic, and he keeps losing women in his life. He keeps getting arrested, going to jail, and all that type of shit. And I tell him, nigga, you got a drinking problem. What the fuck is wrong with you? And, uh, and, and if I say you lost your wife, you lost a couple jobs because of it, then he said, why you keep throwing that shit in my face? Sometimes you need to be reminded of how you're fucking up so you can stop fucking up. Yeah, hey, yeah, you know, yeah, just, yeah, just understand. You ask yourself, why is everybody always picking on me? Because you ain't shit, you fucking loser. You're a loser. So take your loser ass to therapy. You're a giant ass loser. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you call me all the niggas you want, but hey, guess what you, hey, guess what your girl calling me? She calling me daddy. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. That's crazy. Your girl, your, your girl is saying, damn, why did you cheat him so bad, daddy? Can you just... <laughs> Yeah. Hey, LaCarrie, I need that, bro. That, that's fine. <laughs> it's not that crazy. Fuck uh, you, man. Oh, man. I'm done, man. Bye. All right. You're all right. Done, are you done? You're done with what, bro? We don't want nothing to happen to you now. What do you mean you're done? <laughs> nah, bro, fuck that. I'm done, bro. I'm hanging up. All right. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, just hang up, man. Don't hurt yourself, man. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Just hang the loser phone up. Just press the button that says loser and it'll hang up. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Why me? All right. I spoke to you in your I language. Want you. I want to kill you. Steve. Hey, so, so yeah, you're doing too much now. Hey, so, 
you know, I want everybody to hear this really quick. You ever heard the saying, you are your own worst enemy. You can't get out of your own way. Facts. And, he, and that is a prime example of one right there. He he can't get out of his own way of his, he's too emotional. And mm. most emotional uh, 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 people can't get out of their own way because they rest in an area of feelings. And we, we as men don't, we don't have those like that, man. We're not out here uh, uh, moving based upon how we feel. We moving based oh, upon our logic. So the problem is, so the problem is a lot of these men out here move like the caller and, and then it affects them long term because the decisions they make is based on feelings. And when a woman sees them, you're walking in the image of the woman. So she don't want to be with nobody looking like her. She wants to be with a man who's opposite than her. Exactly. All right, Ethan, I'm going to let you go, brother. You take it easy, man. Uh, all right. All right, so we got uh, 323, 323, 323. You're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? 323. Hey, again, it's Parsa from Berkeley. I need coaching. Which one of you guys? Is Locario or Miles in the game available for coaching? These therapists and all that, it's not going to help me at all. <laughs> Caller. Uh, just hit us up in the inboxes, bro. Email us, DM us, and uh, you know you can make that happen. Oh shit! Put that band. Okay, thank you guys. Thank uh, you guys. All right, take it easy, brother. All right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we, yeah, yeah. We good on calls for now. Yep. Let me let me, let me ask something because I know Ethan is still listening. So for Ethan and anybody else, y'all need to stop being all sad when these women leave you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A lot of times, what you need to do is be disappointed in yourself that your leadership skills was lacking. You know what I'm saying? But also, let me say that sometimes when women leave you, it's the best thing for you. It's, it's literally the best thing for you. But y'all should not be sitting around here moping and being all sad, crying in your pillow because the chick don't want to be with you no more. Like I say about any of my exes, they are exactly where they need to be in my rear view, and I'm cool with it. Okay? Now, if you're the type of dude where you got to lick your wounds and shit, nigga, lick your wounds for about 48 hours. That's what you get. A moratorium period. 48 hours to lick your wounds, get your bitch ass up, and get back into the game. When I say get mm-hmm. back into the game, I'm not talking about just women. I'm talking about the game of life. Facts. Stop being worried about that shit. Real shit. Real fucking shit. Real shit, guys. Call in 919-647-9392. 919-647-9392. Y'all could call in. We're going to yeah. be here for about another 20 minutes, man. So make sure y'all call in. And, uh, yeah, let's talk about the topic, man. There, are, There's no question. Uh, put a cue in the chat. We'll get to the questions in between time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, man, this is crazy. I, I just want to say this really quick, man, to everybody out there, man. If you see 50... I want you to just be honest with yourself, man. Just tap me on the shoulder and remind me that you 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 want me to say something to your face. <laughs> I, 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 and and, and I, I'm not the toughest guy in the world, but so I, I don't move like that. But what I would tell y'all is, man, y'all really are not built like you think you are. <laughs> and, and so, uh, on, like, for real, tough guys, really, I'm going to keep it a band. The real, real solid tough guys normally are not on YouTube. So that's mm-hmm. why I don't consider myself a tough guy, because most the real ones they're not on fucking YouTube, not right. one of them. And they don't they don't be talking all that shit because real 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 tough guys really don't even want to get into situations. If we're gonna yeah. be honest, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they know where that can lead. They know where, yeah, yeah. And that's right. We know exactly what we're capable of doing. We don't want to do it. Right. We, you we, know we like our freedom too much. Give it a break. Right. All right. That's, that's, I ain't gonna front. I wish there was a purge day. If there was a purge day, nigga. Oh, my nigga. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, oh. Oh. It'll, be, it'll be a lot of y'all favorite YouTubers that'll be going and shit. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be out of here. That's a fact. So this one says, respect to the panel. Do you gentlemen believe that a woman can never change no matter how on point the man is? Let's say a few years later, he loses his job or something impactful happens. Bro, women change all the time, but this, this is what you got to understand. They're, they're changing based off of the man. You understand? And what I mean by that is, is that this is why, this is why I always laugh at dudes and be like, yo, women can't peer bond. If Listen, the woman is going to reflect the man she's dealing with. 
is that simple. And that's what a lot of you guys don't get because you guys don't understand your power, your value. You don't know this. This is why you think that, oh, well, you know, she just is what it is. And that's the end all be all. But what happens is that a woman, she's going to switch up all the time. Women, women don't necessarily have a stance on anything. Women are following whatever is going to happen in situations. Just like back in the days, you know, motherfuckers are going dudes villages, kill off all the men and take the women. You understand? And then the women follow the new niggas that, that took them. That's how it works. They still do it. Right. <laughs> it's, it's called pimping. It's right. called pimping. Let's let's go to Jake. Jake, it's not uncool. It's just what the fuck it is, dog. See, your problem is you want to separate everything off your fucking ass feelings. Either you're a man or you're not. And in fact, you don't can't accept that shit. Fuck you. I don't understand what you don't understand. It's the same thing that they said to your bitch ass in high school, junior high school, and elementary and college right now. All right. So we got 215, 215. You're on live with the Real Game on Theory panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? Hey, man. It's Taekwondo. I had to drop a, a bomb on this topic, man. It's Taekwondo hey, from the yeah, dojo, baby. What up? What up? Shout out to the brothers, man. I, I love to see this. Um, and I want to drop a bomb on this. So the reason I feel as though dudes are, are, are struggling to comprehend this topic so much is because this, for, for you to make a statement like this, you're assuming that these dudes have seeds to plant in their woman. Mm-hmm. You have to have seeds to plant in her in order to grow her into the kind of woman that we are talking about. Right. And if you are not the kind of man who can who has a standard in his own life with or without a woman, with or without the eyes of other people looking, a standard, a, a goal, a vision, she cannot reap that from you. She cannot gl- she cannot shine from your life. Right. She cannot take she cannot benefit from that or or take what you're pouring into her because your cup is empty. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Facts. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. My nigga, with the my my nigga was. This is why this is why I fuck with you, tied on man. You know, you you're a young cat, and they these young guys really don't think that they can get this game though. And that and that that's why that's why I always was anybody that talk and ask me, I will always bring you up, my niggas, and I always say, hey, this a little young nigga with straight fire game. And so so I just want to say to you, my nigga, I'm glad you out here representing. Uh, the game, because, hey, a lot of these young men, they don't believe. They think times has changed. Nigga, like, oh, these old-ass niggas is far removed. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So that's why I fuck with you, though. Ty, Ty, real quick. Can you tell these niggas how old you are, bro? Tell these niggas how old you are right quick. Hey, 21, man. <laughs> you ain't no 21. <laughs> and he get it. And he get it. That's what I'm saying. So, so mm-hmm. don't I don't want guys to act now. There's some young dudes who don't get it, but this brother get it. I got it. He's, going, he's holding it down. That's what we love that about that little motherfucker. He's going to hold this shit down. When, when, mm-hmm. hey, hey, he, he's holding it down now, but the baton hasn't been passed. And we know once we gone, there's a little motherfucker over at the dojo with mm-hmm. his goddamn sword and all that other shit, talking to them bitches, taking bitches. He even showing y'all he taking bitches live on the air and shit. He got this shit down. I told him when he get our age, his eyes are gonna be glowing and shit. When right. he get our age. <laughs> That's crazy. Real shit. I nah, this, this, this game matter more more than ever, man. Because you know, you know, it, 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 this is another thing too. I, I think you have to touch on the topic. Yeah. So on one, and it's like you know, the woman gonna benefit from whatever man she with. But on the opposite end, the other side of that coin is that you y'all relationship will deteriorate in whatever way that, you know, what problems you bring to the table. So if you're emotional, if you're reactional, if you, if you un- if undisciplined, et cetera, and you mess with a woman, y'all only going to spiral down into whatever bullshit you brought to that table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I just thought that was a, man, I just important to touch on that too. Facts. Facts. Yes, sir. I, 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 I appreciate you calling in, bro. I right, talk to you soon, brother. So, Oh yeah, and by the way, Taekwondo will be speaking at the uh, Game Kings Two Definition of a Man yeah. seminar, April second. Yes. So for all you dudes that are a little older, 
age, don't use your age as an excuse as to why you lacking in the game. This young brother get it. So salute to him. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Real talk, real talk. So, right, so let, me, let me bring up let me bring up this real quick, bro. And I want I didn't get to talk on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ty, I, got, I had to bring up this picture. I had to bring up this picture of this cat, man. So I, I wanted to say this to a young guy that called in earlier. I want to say imagery matters, dog. Right. The way you carry yourself, the 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 way you move, the 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 body language you're you that you suggest in your little pictures here. My nigga, I'm telling you, dog, like even even this other picture right here, like you on a prison cell uh <laughs> bed. Uh, uh, and 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 what you say, all this shit fucking matters, bro. You got to speak like a man, dog. You got to step your swag up, and that's what I mean by swag, because it's inside of you. It ain't got nothing to do with, with, with what you really wearing. It's how you are presenting yourself to the world. The certain level of masculinity, I don't see that in you, bro. So the thing is, is that I understand what these women are saying, because you look a little zesty, my dude. You got to <laughs> fucking Step your fucking shit up, dog. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna throw that out there. You know what I mean? If you need help with your image, you got niggas on here that will help you with your fucking image. And 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 what I'm saying is, I think we need to start with Miles, though. You need to, you need to, your 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 masculinity identity. I really believe that you need to really reach out to Miles, and you need to start there. That that's where you need to start because I think he's going to help you find. That man inside of you, dog. I'm just gonna keep it keep it real. Yeah. I didn't even know that was him in the pics till I went to his, his Instagram. I said, "Oh shit, that was the dude." Yeah, so, uh, man, <laughs> bitch ass nigga, man. <laughs> your, 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 your pictures in, and here's the thing, and what you don't understand because he, he's a younger dude, so he's talking about he's in college. A lot of these college chicks, even these older chicks, they're going straight to your motherfucking IG or to your. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just yeah. looking at your shit. You know, I had yeah. chicks that I was dealing with when I was in my late 30s and they was in their late 20s. They're going straight to my Facebook shit asking me, so what's that? What's this? And I'm not even I, thinking about it, but chicks is going and they checking you out, bro. So just, just, when they see that picture right there, nigga, with you, nigga, with you on your side, nigga, with your hand like that, nigga. But yeah, who, took nigga. Picture, right? who took the picture? Because, because I, it's obviously it was like a high school picture. See, see, I don't give a fuck what they tell me uh, how to pose. Nigga, I'm going to pose how I want a motherfucking pose. Uh, nigga, this is my uh, image. Uh, I'm not, and I'm not. This is this is my image. Nigga, you know what I mean? And my nigga, I just, it's something about third, like, like third party speaking to women on your fucking social media. This, this shit fucking, I see this a lot. You know, oh, and she said this and that, but I'm I'm still out here winning. You bitch ass niggas are so emotional. You know what I mean? Stop acting this way, dog. That's not what men do. And I know you're not in touch with your father. And this is why we 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 definitely need to get we started with Miles right away, dog. Mm -hmm. Stop spending money on these on these purple headbands and these wave caps, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you spend some money, nigga, to save your life. Nigga. You need your life saved. Hey. And get rid of the guy that took those pictures and didn't check you for doing that shit. <laughs> Mother told you, you should have told you, close your legs. You ain't Michael Jackson, the whole like on Thriller and shit. Get your ass up and pose and shit. Like, like, like a pose like a Roman about to wrestle in the Coliseum or some shit. But you like, ooh, look at me. And he's like, oh, open your legs a little longer. I mean, I don't know, man. Now, people looking at that. I'm telling you, man. And, and people don't think that shit fucking matters, my nigga. Like right. you, nigga, your shit matter, nigga. If you're a man and you got an all pink car, <laughs> nigga, like already the imagery of that is you're a fucking pussy, nigga. Like just just off top, nigga. Right. Like that shit fucking matters. I, I see like the nigga. I, I see the nigga with a a pink Land Rover, nigga. An all pink Land Rover, nigga. With the with eyelashes over the lights, nigga. It was a grown man driving it, nigga. Yo, was that, that's that, that's that, that's that, that Avon shit. I remember back in the day, that's, that's them Avon, that's that Avon shit. Wait, yeah, was that Miles or Lucario? Who, who posted them, that dude with them fingernails pushing the car? Who was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, that man, I'd be goddamn. He, he, hold on, what? What, what was this? In the, in, in the group. Group. A group. A group. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I see that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and, and let me, and let me just say this, that, what people, don't understand. Like, but 50 is saying that imagery matters. Even if you're not a certain way in real life, the perception 
mm. of how you may be will keep people from fucking with you. Just understand that. Right. Crazy. So All right, we got 941. 941, you're on live the real game note three panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? 941. This is JG. 29. Oh. All right. Out of last week. Florida. All right, what's going on with you? So I'm going to get right to it now. What do you say to a chick to ask, let's fuck? Like, let's well, let, me ask, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you, let me ask you a question back real quick. What do you say when you go to McDonald's and want to order a hamburger, sir? I want a double cheeseburger with no pickles, extra mayo. Well, sometimes the answer's in the question, buddy. Right. So why don't you say the same thing to women when you want sex? But, you know, it's like, it's like sometimes you say things and they, it hits them. And sometimes you say things and it, it just don't hit them. Like, what's the real, what's the, oh, like, oh, so what? way to say it? See, see Colin, this is what you're asking. You're, you're asking, can I say something that has a more success rate? <laughs> you, no. It don't matter what you say. You know what I'm saying? You're, y'all need to stop being worried about trying no, to hit a home run every time you talk yeah, to me. Like, what do y'all say? I don't need like a, a necessarily tagline. I need, I need to know like the idea behind it, like the the, the breakdown. Okay. Behind what, it is you're a loser, and <laughs> what you're thinking is loser, and what's coming out of your mouth is loser, and that's why they ain't fucking with you. That's Wait, what you don't hey, understand. Caller, caller, what do you mean the idea behind it? I'm confused. What do you mean by that? Like. The, the moment. You know what I'm saying? What? I don't know what you're saying. What do you mean? What the fuck are you talking about? What, the, the chloroform? Uh, Will you put that over her face? I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Yes, please. I met this chick, on, I met this chick on Public Thursday. Uh-huh. Walked up to her, got her number. I told her she was on her lunch break. I told her, let's, let's, let's do lunch tomorrow on our, on our lunch break because I was like, you know, we both work lunch in the area. Well, you, feed her, bitch. you feeding her? So, you feeding her? You feeding her? Hmm? You feeding the woman, right? You yeah. feeding her. You've already fucking failed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so wait, call her. You wanted to take the girl to lunch? <laughs> nah. I mean, shit, I'm just trying to, you know, get a sit down real quick. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I'm saying, no, this is what I'm saying. What do you want? Do you want to take her to lunch or are you trying to fuck? What the fuck? I can't take a bitch off the coffee? What the fuck? You niggas no. No, 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 no. That's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you, do you want to take her to lunch or do you want to yeah, fuck? No, Which one? Fuck up. Call her. Why Call her. Mad? What are you what are you so upset about? I'm asking, do you want to fuck or do you want to take her to lunch? I want to fuck. Okay, so why are you taking her to lunch? I'm trying to talk to her. About what? what? You say you want to fuck. Why you want to talk to her for? So at what point do I tell her I want to fuck? You want me to she already knows you want to fuck, motherfucker. So she said hi. She she knows you want, you want, want me to fucking send a messenger, nigga? Call her. If you're talking to a woman, right? Call her. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Check this out. Check this out. If I if I wanted to sell you my book, right? Would okay. I be talking about my book or what would I be talking about something I saw on TV? Which one? <laughs> How am I gonna know about your fucking book? Exactly. I need to tell you about the book, right? How are you going to tell me about the book that you're trying to sell me? Tell you about the fucking book. At the moment I'm talking, I say, listen, yo, I got this book that I want to sell you because this book can help you. So, hold on. Call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. So, if you're trying to fuck the woman, why are you talking about going to lunch? That's what I'm saying. So, I can get in front of her quicker. To do what? That's what losers do. To do what? She knows you're a loser. Okay, look, brother, brother, brother. Say two things. Call, call, call. Listen, call, call. Listen, say this with love. Let so call it. Listen. She knows you want to fuck number one automatically, and she knows that you have no experience with women. That's why she ain't gonna fuck you because you ain't you ain't game like that, dog. That's why you try that, Steve. How does she know? How does she know, Steve? How, Steve? Call her, call her, call her. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Call her, listen, listen. Where are you meeting these women at? My nigga, do you got fucking ears? I said, hey, 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 nigga. Hey, hey, lower your tone, nigga. Where you meet these women at, dog? Your chest, nigga. 
public, D. Okay, now let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a one night stand in your life? Fuck no. I'm, I'm assuming no. Shut up. Said, yes. Okay. So, so if you had a one night stand, that means right when you met a chick, you had a conversation with her without a date, and you left, right? And you went to go fuck, right? Yeah. So just do that again. Yeah. Repeat. Repeat that. Yeah, why don't you do that again? Why? Why you gotta go take it to lunch for? Why don't you just do that again? Because he's scared of pussy. Because the last time I was already at the, I was already at fucking Applebee's. I was gaming the bitch at the bar top, and then we went into my car. I'm on my fucking thirty minute lunch break, and I already spent fifteen minutes walking over to the fucking public. What? Wait, wait, what do you do? Call her. Call her. So call her. So call her. And hold on. Listen, 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 listen. Calm the fuck down. Listen. Calm the fuck down. Listen. Why don't you say to the girl? Listen, I'm interested in us hooking up. Let's get together and hook up. Why are you going to lunch? That's what we're asking. Why don't you just skip Why the lunch and just, crazy, just say that then? Why do I gotta go crazy just for you to give me the game? Nigga, we just told you the game. You're being emotional and won't shut the fuck up. Oh my god, man. You ain't no player. You ain't no player. Ain't none whatsoever. You're thirsty, desperate, needy. You need to get your ass in life together and get the fuck out of Applebee's and get a real fucking job. Stop worrying about uh, harassing these fucking women. And, and who, who the fuck goes to Applebee's, nigga? <laughs> horrible. Look at that's horrible. The ribs are terrible. Applebee's is you know, bottom you, of the you, barrel, you, nigga. That's I, bottom I, I of the barrel. Works there. I think he works there. Call her, call her, call her. Please do, do not... Refrain from calling anyone a bum ass nigga when you go to Applebee's, please. <laughs> right. Please. And <laughs> <laughs> <Dude. laughs> hey, you want to take it to look Applebee's is bottom of the barrel, barrel nigga. Because I got all the game, but don't want to share none. No, what you're gonna pay for the game, motherfucker. If you want game, get in your Applebee wallet. All that all those uh dollars you collect as, as a waiter, collect that shit and buy and spend money on coaching so you can get some games, son. That nigga said. <laughs> Who's the waiter? That nigga said. Yo, yo, okay, my man, you're a bus boy. Hey, That's okay, man. No you're cleaning up. You're cleaning up after I leave. <laughs> so what's, you do, man? what's what's your issue then, man? What's the issue? <laughs> so, work, so, so what's your issue then? What's what, what's the issue with letting the girl know you're trying to fuck? What's the what's the, the issue? I, I guess um, like one time I told a chick, I was like, yo, to be honest with you, I'm not I'm not trying I'm not trying to date. I'm just trying to fuck. And she said, I respect you for being honest, but no. And so, okay. you know, so what's the issue? So what's the issue? What's, what's wrong with that? It, it didn't work like that. Like so it, didn't work. it did work, nigga. She said no. Like, she said so, no. no. So, hold on. so call her, call her, check this out. Let's say you took that girl to lunch and then after lunch you told her you wanted to fuck and she said no. Would you rather that? Huh? Yeah, yeah, obviously, but yeah, obviously, uh, I paid me a couple of dollars. Exactly. So then, what the fuck you talking about? So you want to waste more time and money and energy, and then tell a chick you want to fuck for her to say no instead of just saying it up front so she could say no? She going? Hey, listen, brother. They all gonna, most of them gonna say no to your ass because you ain't got no fucking game, sir. They gonna say no to you. That's a, you, you, I'm just letting you know. They're going to look at your weak ass and they're going to know that you ain't got no motherfucking swag or game. They ain't going to fuck with you, dog. Let hey, me, I, um, I ain't that other nigga. I ain't that, I ain't that deep money nigga. Don't come at me like that. Hey, call oh, wait, me. I, don't, I, don't need, I don't need to come at you. I'm just saying, dog, you're, call, wait, you're calling us, asking us how you ask for something. And how old are you again? How fucking old are you again? That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm just saying. Like the reason. Let me tell you why I'm even asking this question, right? It's because I'm like I'm getting a lot of bids. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to waste time or money on all these bids. So I'm like, yo, okay. look, car, oh, should we play the music? Now, so I can squeeze through all this bullshit real quick. That's on, what it is. Come on, man. Why are you lying on your no, dog? Don't lie. Don't let the dog don't lie. Why am I gonna lie? I call you calling this shit lie. if you were, if you was fucking. Why am I lying? If you, was, if you was fucking, you would be okay. If you were fucking. Why would you call us to ask what you say on how to ask to fuck? <laughs> because the chick is Dominican. She got a crazy burger. And I really want to You see? Crazy mm -hmm. burger. That, that's, that's his problem. See, he calling us because he's like, is there some magical words that I can say to get this bitch I'm putting on a pedestal? That's basically what you ask him, Gola. Is that is, is that true? That's right, right? The magic word is dame, dame cool. Yeah. 
The, the, the magic words, since she's since she Dominican, the magic words is Dame Culo. That's it. <laughs> dame Culo, baby. Hey, mi amor, Dame Culo, baby. Okay? That's it. Just say it like that. And, and, right. and, and keep a smile on your face. You'll be all right, bro. <laughs> Amen. Nah, this is with women. And this, you know why women fuck with us? Because this is what they deal with on a daily basis. And we call, and call, you, know, you know why a lot of these women are saying no to you, bro? Because they can see you emotional. You understand? Because they, they say, oh, if I tell this nah, nigga... I, I, I ain't emotional. Y'all emotional. Y'all no, 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 we're the emotional ones. Oh, you don't want to hear you know, all, all this other crazy shit. So, so she's scared that if she say, if she actually mm. changed her mind or some shit, you gonna wild out. Yeah, yeah. And, and you think you think just like men be saying, oh, if I if I hit that man, that bitch crazy, she gonna keep my car, she gonna break my. In reverse, women say, oh man, if I get in this pussy, this nigga gonna be blowing my phone up, he be in my bushes. That's that's you, Applebee. Yeah, because, hey, there's, hey, there's a fuck under the table, motherfucker. Go get that shit. Get the fuck off the phone. She be Hey man, keep keep those tables clean, the Applebee's man. <laughs> <laughs> Keep those tables clean, man. And don't, and don't steal the tips from the waiters, nigga. So we so we met up. So let me just let me just let me just say this real quick. Oh Jesus. All right. Go ahead. So so basically, I'm like, you know, let's um let's share let, 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 let's share our lunch tomorrow. <laughs> and oh like, my nigga. He did say this. You. Yes, you, yes, you got two straws, nigga, in that Slurpee, yeah. nigga. <laughs> nigga you, you, you eat spaghetti, spaghetti, nigga, <laughs> to the last bite <laughs> together, nigga, the same spaghetti. <laughs> what type of bitch ass shit is that, nigga? Hold on. I, mean, I know it's gonna come out the side, but just pinch them together real quick, all right? Oh, so, he said, not sure what time I'll be taking my lunch, but I'd like to. So I said, let's try. I'll text her in the morning, period, right? So we, so we get there. And after the little 15, 20 minutes, you know what I mean? No, we don't know what you mean. Get her nails done for the rest of her lunch break, because she's like some whatever. And I was like, send me a picture, you know, send me a picture of them when you when you're done. You know what I'm saying? A picture of her nails. Okay, so I gotta stop. Call her, please, please. please, please. <laughs> this nigga, he's like this. Yes. Let me, let me explain how you're fucking shit up. Let me explain how you're fucking shit up. If you want to establish a situation. Where you're just having a sexual relationship or a fuck buddy situation, the way that you're doing it, you're making it seem like you want to date her. You're showing her an interest. You're showing her interest in things that have nothing to do with fucking. Wait, tell me That's how. Nigga, you asking her to eat lunch with you? You asking her to send you pictures of her nails? Nigga, I don't even do that with a bitch I'm in a relationship with. <laughs> hold, hold, that's the part, hold on, that's the part you're missing. Hold on, hold on, that's the part you're missing. You don't realize, hold on, you don't realize you're making it harder for you to fuck by you doing all that boyfriendy halfway homo shit. You understand that? Wait, 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 what is the boyfriendy happy homo shit you talking about, nigga? No, the boyfriendy shit is taking her to lunch. If you're just trying to fuck, the halfway homo shit is asking no, her to show a picture of her nails and shit. Different. Huh? We met up for lunch. There's a complete difference. No, no, no. It doesn't matter, bro. bro call her. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. If you just want to fuck a woman, it's only supposed to be fucking. Does that make? Does that make sense? So you're saying first two minutes you meet a chick, you tell her I want to fuck. That's it. Yes. Wow. With Why her, not? you let her know that that is what you're interested in doing with her. You're right now, and I want to hear y'all say something like that to a girl that y'all never said that shit to. Man, shut what? the fuck. That's what I'm saying. This is why he's the bus boy at Applebee's. <laughs> you got to carry the gray bucket around, nigga, cleaning <laughs> shit up. <laughs> You're the guy, man. When I see a guy at Applebee's, I'm going to slide. Well, first of all, I'll never be an Applebee's. But, nigga, when I did go, nigga, when I was like 20 years old, nigga, and I wanted some, some warmed up shrimp, nigga, uh, I would see bus boys in there, nigga. I'm sure. I mean, hey, you got that red, you got the red apron on, too, nigga, when you walking around cleaning tables up, nigga? Wait, wait, call her, call her. Didn't you say you had a one-day stand before? 
Yeah. If that's okay. the, that would be it. So wait, wait, wait. So didn't you tell the girl, let's go fuck and y'all fucked? Yeah. So then what the fuck are you talking about then? You just said you did that. So why are you acting like you can't do it? I pulled up. I pulled up. I put listen, I pulled up to Applebee's to watch my football game, the Ravens versus the the the, the, the Bengals game. And she was on the she was at the bar top two. And then like, you know, as the game is going on around like halftime, halftime, that's when I took it back to the car. So I had time. Like I was you know what I'm saying? Stop. Call her, call her, call her. Stop. Stop. The point is, did you say you basically said to her, "Let's go fucking y'all fucked," right? Yeah, but the, like I said, I set it up, I teed it up nice. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta I call. Me. So, so wait a minute. So call, so call. So, so you said you went to Applebee's to watch your game, right? What? So you said you went to the, to the Applebee's to go watch a football game? Yeah. So this is the same Applebee's that you work at, that you visit when you're not working? No, nigga, no, I don't, like, I'm, I'm going to say this. I don't work for Applebee's, y'all. I don't work for Applebee's. I don't. I never work. I'm not a waitress. I don't work. I don't work for Applebee's. Why are you all leaving Applebee's and shit going to the, 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 the store then? Why you bring up Applebee's? I said, they asked me if I had a one-night stand. They said, just do it the same way you did it then. I said, well, I was at Applebee's watching the game, and then I, and, and there was a chick that was at the bar top with me, and then we ended up like I have more time. Uh, you That's know what it is. Let me let me get this really quick. Have more time for what? Huh? Have more time for what? Have more time for what? He said he knew the chick. So you knew her before that evening? No, I did not say that, Zach. I said she was at the bar at Applebee's, right, right, right. not Applebee's to watch right. the football. Hey, you know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. He really has been watching Red Pill, right? So what happens is. Is that they want the highest percentage of success rate for them? They, they what? Hey, please give me the the cheat code for the highest rate of success. So when he heard, "Oh, I did this one time," I told the girl, "Can I fuck?" And she said respectfully, "No, thank you," and moved on. You felt as if, "Oh, okay, that's a low percentage." But what lacario has been telling you is that you told the same broad in the in the inside the restaurant, and you went out to the car and fucked. What, right. Why is it that is a problem now that that happened, but before is a bigger problem? I, I'm I'm confused. Right, exactly. Because call her. What did, call her. What did you say? Hold on. What did you say to the girl in the Applebee's? What did you say to her? Maybe I just need. Maybe I just need uh, six simp ass niggas to be yelling at me to get my mind. Call her. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. her. What did you say to the girl in Applebee's before y'all fucked? What did you say to her? Huh? Huh? What did you say to the girl before y'all fucked? Oh, Applebee. <laughs> I look dumb. Fuck. I look no, fuck. We, bullshit. Like, um, if if like, we so slippers, then why the fuck you calling in this show, bitch? Like don't be hit, don't be giving me. Hey, ask, if we're so slippers, why the fuck are you calling us? We ain't calling your bitch ass. Why the fuck are you calling us? Oh, so, right. Now. All right. So, all right. Now. Now. Nigga, don't, right. don't don't get out of place now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Same, same, same heat with the bitch. Did you say real quick? I, I need it. Call her. What did you say to her before y'all fucked? So I was Please. like, I was like, I really, I was like, I, I was like, I really want to kiss you right now. Oh man, oh, it's you your bitch, 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 bitch. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I think I said, I think I said. Yeah, that's what I did say. That's what I did say. Okay, you weak, no, no, no. So you said I want to kiss you right now. Then what, what did she say to that? Um, she's like, well, I, I don't even know you. I, and I was just like, I was like, you ever felt like you ever been in a, in, a, in a position where you felt like the moment was just right? And I feel like uh, the moment lifetime was channel and shit. This moment, we channel talk. Okay. Like, so, what, so what did you say right before she decided to come fuck you in the car? What did you say to get her to the car? No, I just said, let's, let's go to, you want to go back to my car? It was halftime. Was okay. Home. Okay. Now, now. So basically what you're saying is, is that you met a girl you didn't know before. You told her to come back to your car to fuck and she fucked. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so then what the fuck are you asking us the question if you did it before? Man, I just, you know what I'm saying? I need the game, man. You need the game. We're done. We're done. We're done.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. No I, long enough, my name. I just can't. I'm sorry. 914, 914, you on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name eight city. What's going on? What up, what up, what up, fellas? What up, Ricardo K. What up, Miles? Uh, what Yo. Up? Yeah. My name is Jay, Connecticut, 40. Now, LaCario, you have the same issue, LaCario, but my thing is that, LaCario, you're telling me that you can just talk to a woman within a minute be like, hey, I want to fuck. She's going to be okay with that? So no, no, it's cool. Let me call her. He can't. You can't. I can't. 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 Just call her. Call her. Call her. Listen, call her. I don't think you need to understand something. Every guy on this panel can. You can't. That's what we're trying to tell you. All these guys can. You ain't gamed up enough. You can't. Wait, call her. Let me ask you a question. So, so wait, wait. So, how many women have you had sex with in your life? Uh, uh, my wife, about 25. Okay, 25. Now, out of those 25, hold on, hold on. Out of those 25, have you ever said to any one of them, hey, let's 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 hook up, let's fuck, and then it happened? Yes, I did that. Yes, I learned that from you. Yes, because I learned okay, that from okay, you. Okay, so full stop. So then, what, so, then why, so then why are you asking the question if you've done it already? Asking that, but you're going to have a low percent when you keep telling women off the rip like that. Women are not built like men. You're the low that. percent. You heard that, Lucario? The low wait, percent. Wait, 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 wait. So, how, how many girls out of the 25 you fucked by telling them that? Like three or four. Like, <laughs> three, I'm, 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 20, so wait, 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 wait. Okay, so now, now, so the other, let's say, 20, 21, 22 women or whatever it is, right? So, what happened with those women? Do you have to take them out on f on seven dates or some shit? What do you have to do? No, nah, like I said, when I first started, I was, I was going to two or three dates. And said, I, that's when I started learning game from you other guys. Like, you don't have to go on multiple dates. Okay. Go on dates and stuff like that. But my thing, I see Steve shaking his head. But my thing is that, but look, my thing is that when you're telling guys that, look, yo, what is the percentage of women that's going to agree? They're like, oh, let's go fuck. Let me ask you a question. Those those other twenty something. Hold on. Those other twenty something women. Did you say to them you just want to fuck, or did you go on three or four dates? No, I told women that no, I just want to fuck. No, I go online. Uh, no, even on the day too. I, on the day I'd be like, you know, what? I'm just looking for some sexual. Stuff. No, 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 no. Call her. This is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. The other twenty two women. You said you went out on three or four dates with those women, which means that you didn't tell those other 20 something women you just want to fuck. So how do you know out of those other 20 something women, they wouldn't have fucked you if you just said it? I don't think they would have. I don't think they would have. You don't know. You don't know. Which means you don't know. There was one thing you don't believe in yourself. Caller, this is what I'm saying. Caller, this is what I'm trying to say to you, Caller. Listen, this is what I said to you before. These guys can say it and can get it. You can't because you don't believe in your fucking self. If you don't believe in your fucking self, how the fuck is she going to believe in you? You don't even love yourself. You don't even know yourself. These motherfuckers in this panel can do it because they teach how to you learn your fucking self. You don't believe in yourself, motherfucker. So why should she believe in you? Wait, wait. Okay. I, let me ask you a simple question, okay? I, I'm the one time you had asked, oh, uh, 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 look, I'm the one time you had asked April, would you kiss on the first date? April said, no, she didn't kiss on the first date. That's the type of woman that you're gonna meet in a regular basis. I'm not saying women are gonna do it. You're gonna meet women that are not. I don't, I don't kiss bitches yeah, for months. Say she didn't kiss on the first date. What are you talking about? Definitely kiss on the first date. Exactly. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? You mean May or June, not <laughs> April. <laughs> he's talking about May or June, Lucario. He ain't talking about April. <laughs> no, call her, call her, call her. Call her, hold on, hold on. Check this out, check this out. How many, okay, when you went on dates with these women before you fucked them, right? Were there, were there other women you tried to go on dates with and they rejected you? Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Okay. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Check this out. So what that means is whether you go on dates with women, you're going to talk to women who are going to reject you. Even if you tell women you're just going to hook up with, you want to just hook up with them, they're going to be women who's going to reject you. So no matter what you do, you're going to get women who are going to reject you. What we're saying is, right, that if you just trying to fuck, you have to be some sort of moron to be going on three or four dates if you just want to fuck. Instead of wasting time going on three or four dates and then maybe getting some pussy, how about you save your time and just find women who want to fuck you without going on dates? Why don't you do that? 
Because you're going to get rejected either way you go, right? I'm going to say, some women may say, you know what, I want to go on a, on, a, on, a, on a drink just to steal you out. That okay. Let me get Go ahead. Let me get I heard that. I heard that. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, listen. So if a woman tells you, if she basically declines your um your offer for some for some dick, and she says, I want to go and have a drink, do you take her? For one drink, yes. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, you know, like, and, and, and call her. That's why you're having a hard time with, with getting women to fuck you. I'm not sucker shit. You're uh, a yoga, like 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 my niggas uh, Zag said earlier, nigga. You're a yoga nigga, man. You're flexible. Nigga, right. you, nigga, you you one of these niggas, man, that don't stand on what you want. And that's why you're treated the way you're treated, nigga. You the right. type of nigga that I know that but any bitch you right. have, she's going to give me whatever you got. All right. Cole, you know, keep it, I'm going to keep it real, dog. You're not, you're not tough enough, nigga. You have no spine. Caller, you know what? You know why? I call him. I mean, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you something. Hey, I'm not saying that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you something real quick. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I want you to understand this. I want you to understand this. Call him. Call him. Call him. Now, I'm gonna teach you something real quick because this is gonna this is gonna blow your mind, right? Do you know why? Do you know why some women fuck men on the first date or the first time they meet him? Do you know why? One of the one of the biggest reasons, and the biggest reason I'm gonna just tell you because I know you don't know. One of the biggest reasons why some women will fuck guys on the first date or the first time they meet them is because those women know if they don't fuck the guy, the guy will never call them again. When they meet you, they know you're going to call them again, which is why they can implement their leadership or strategy on you. This is why the woman says, I want you to take me out to a drink and you're going to do it because she knows you're the type of guy who's going to do it. Because your mindset and everything else that you got going on tells her you're that guy. That's why it's hard for you to just get pussy quickly because she knows I don't need to give this guy pussy quickly because he's going to call me the next day and the next day and the next day. And he's going to take me out. He's going to do whatever I say because he's scared of me. That's why he's going to do it. He's not a man. Because a man is not going to just follow me. A man is going to do what he wants. And if I don't follow him, I may never see this man again. Does that make sense, caller? Yeah, it makes sense. All right, here's an example. All right, to see some cupcakes, I went out with this chick, right? Fine joint. Now, I'm in the car, you will say that too. She, she told me that, right, we're in a date. She's like, oh, you got to earn the pussy, blah, 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 whatever. So I went home, I never texted her. She hit me That's up. Kind of like messing with women on the and I said, I'm not interested. So what was fine about her? Tell me what was so fine about her. What was fine about the bitch? I'm calling lines with messing with women on the job right there. You know, you tell your boyfriend to be quiet while you talk, please. What the fuck was you talking about? It? Like, bro. But I kind of look at that as mess, like you're trying to mess with women on the job, you know. Which is, who, who is this? It's his lover or some shit. He even next to another dude, man. This God, is the, this, this, is the, this is the guy. This is the guy that's on the phone. He's the guy who leaves the hickeys on the back of his neck. <laughs> that's the guy right there. No, no, no. Now, when they, now, when they go ahead. <laughs> yo, yo, what's poppin'? This is Malik, 26. I'm in Seattle. All right, what's up, Malik? You got a question? Yeah, man, I just moved out here, man. I've been coming at the whole, like, you know, you know, I used to come with that nice shit, but that shit really don't rock no more, man. That shit do not go. So I thought oh, really? within the first few moves, you feel me? How, no, we don't feel you. Well, how old are you? How old are you? Like, yeah, yeah, call her. How, how old are you? I'm 26. 26. All right. Now, what's your question, brother? What's your question? Man, if if they if if a motherfucker ain't getting no hits at all, like what what's going wrong? What's you going wrong? you the pro oh, okay. Wait, do you understand? Look in the fucking mirror. That weak mother, 26 year old soft motherfucker is the problem. Women are not the problem. You're the fucking problem, Malik. But look, I right, but look, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Let me get deeper into it. Now, I'm not like, you know what I'm saying? What's the name? The the last call or whatever, talking about he's gonna take them out and all of that. But these women seem like they so used to that. These women seem like they so used to that. I'm not gonna go and take them like I tried it a couple like like just to I'll be on I'll be on the Tinder app. I text uh, my I right, let 
just the link. I take like any way I text the bitch the link. Like these bitches is not linking. Call her, call her, call her. Why do you care about the ones that ain't trying to see you? Thank you, Lucario. Why do you give a fuck? Cause look, bro. Look, bro. Look, look bro. I've been out here. I probably didn't got like, bro. Been hit like twice, bro. And like this shit weird, bro. Like I ain't used to this shit. Like hoes are supposed you to. You are used to it. You are. Don't lie. You ain't you. Okay, sir. You live in Loserville. Just like this, step, you're a loser. Caller, let me let me let me get you to understand something. See, the problem is where you're focused on. Let me let me explain something. Back in the day when I was in my early 20s, I used to sell this. They used to have these things called CDs. I know y'all young dudes don't know, know what that is, but there's a thing called CDs. They used to put music on them, right? So I would sell my did, right. I'm, I'm just saying some do know. So I used to sell my mixtapes on Times Square, right? I would go outside and I would go there, maybe like at noon and I'll stay there till about 6 p.m. So between noon and 6 p.m., I'd sell like a hundred something c- CDs, right? Now, what happened was between noon and 6 p.m., there'd be a bunch of motherfuckers that didn't buy the CD. They would say no, right? But guess what? At the end of c- at 6 p.m., I had an empty book bag and a wad of cash in my fucking hand. Do you understand what I'm saying? But, and that's because I was focused on who was going to buy the CD. I wasn't focused on the people who said no. See, you're focused on the people who's the, on the women who saying no. That's the issue. You're not actually putting in the work to get the women who go say yes. And then every time you focus on the people who, who say no, that's how you keep going in this direction. I'm saying like these they on Tinder. Wait, like, wait, 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 like, call her, 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 call her. Okay. Brother, 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 please, please, please. We need to address something. You just said that you were lazy. Yeah. When it comes to going outside, when it comes to going outside. Yeah. I yeah. So, so, yeah. yeah so, uh, so you, do you usually get what you want out of life? <laughs> do I get what I'll hear? Yeah. And and why is and why is that? Do you, do you go after it or are you lazy when it comes to getting what you want out of life? I'm trying to do this shit on Tinder is my thing. You feel me? So instead of sitting here and having all these long conversations with them and all of this, that, and the third, I'm within the first second, the first and second message, I'm coming at them like, look, I'm look, I'm saying something, you know what I'm saying, to turn them on. I'm saying something to 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 to, to talk to them, right? But it's it, this shit is not hitting. Like, I'm damn near doing this shit like a job. I'm talking to, like, five, ten bitches a day. All right, call her. Can I, call, 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 can I say something? Call her. Here we go. Oh, let, me, let, me put, let me put you to the test, call her. Watch this. You got a pen, call her. Call her. The man mind said, I have a yeah. I have a daily chat line right now with women on there right now that want to play with their pussy and get off. Write this number down, 509-876-5771. If you about that game, you go in there and try to talk to these women. I bring women to you, so there ain't no excuse. There are women waiting right now. Oh, so yeah. you make no fucking excuse that you ain't. Huh? 509 509-876-5771. The man might say, I bring you fucking women. So you can't make no fucking excuse. You call that motherfucker and you see what you about. There are gonna be women on there that's gonna wanna play with their pussy. They're gonna wanna get off and all that other shit. So why don't you see what the fuck you're not? So then you'll realize you need to learn game for one of these guys out here, man. Hey, call her. How, how, how long you been using Tinder? I'll call your line in practice. But like, that's just what I want to say, man. Like, I'm going. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How long you been using Tinder? How long you been using it? I ain't trying to hang out, drink. I'm trying. You coming over here. You going. Call her. How long have you been using Tinder? <laughs> for for uh, a few years. For a few years, so like what? Two, two years, three years? These bitches out here is different. Like, I right, look. Oh, I was, stop, stop. So, so, how many years? Two years, three years? How many years? Say what? How many years have you been using Tinder? How many? I've been on that bit like three years. Okay, now no, how many? Hold like, on. How many women have you met off Tinder? Roughly, how many women? Good amount. Uh, in the in in the Midwest, a good amount. Since I've been in Seattle, give me a number. Give me a number. Give me a number. Two. Give me a number. Two. Two. Spy. Since so, I've been out here, yes, 
Yes. Two. Hey, so wait, you've been using Tinder for three years and you met two women. Oh my God. I, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Three years, three years, three years. No, no. How many? I met. Man, bro, that's too, that's too many to name because I lived out there. I knew half of them. Give us, a re- give us a number. Give us an estimate, a number. Oh, man, bro, you testing my brain right now. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, so uh, okay, so you said like 40, okay? 40, right? That was out there. Okay, so let's let's just say fifty. So let's say you met fifty women in three years. How many of those women you fucked? Say at least forty six. Come man. on, man. I'm hidden, but I'm saying you out here. You're right there with, the, with the video because this nigga lying his ass off. Because I don't, I don't know. What... I'll cue you up, Lakari. It's been a while since we did this. Hold on, call it. Get ready to dance. Get up and start dancing. This, this is our th- dance answer for you, uh, Lakario. In uh, th- in three, two, one, sir. Here we go. God damn, my shit is slow. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Call her. <laughs> so if you if first of all, if you met 50 women off there, you ain't fucking 47. So stop let's stop with the bullshit. And then even if you did fuck 47 women, then what the fuck you want to call with us then? What are you what are you complaining about? Because they not fucking out, like, bro, they want me to take. They oh, used to. They fucking you said you fucking no, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me clear something. Up. Call her, call her, call her, call her, call her, call her, call her. Yo, yo, what the fuck? Can you hear me, nigga? <laughs> What's going on? Yo, when you hear a nigga say "call her, call her, call her," you shut the fuck up. Damn. Now look, what he's saying is he just moved to Seattle. And the mm. bitch is not responding like he's used to, so he's losing his pussy and tender dick mind. That's all he's saying. He's like, oh, these bitches ain't responding like how I'm used to, so I'm losing my fucking mind. Let me try to call these niggas and see if they can help me out. That's all that's happening right now. Mm. Okay? Isn't it right, caller? That's true. Okay, you see what happens when you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so now, so you saying, now that you moved, you only got two chicks. That that you you met, yeah. And how long and how long has it been since you moved? Like so so from the point you moved to now, how long has that been? I said about like coming on a year, about like eight months, about like eight months. Okay, so now, so you telling me within eight months you only saw you only went out with two women? Yes. Yeah. And then and then Damn. before you was getting like 47, 50 women before. I could pull by like two bitches a week. Good okay. easy. Now, are you okay? Wait, 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 wait. Are you use Are you using Tinder at the same amount of time you was using it before, or have you gotten lazy and stopped using it as much? No, since I ain't been going out as much, I I be on that Tinder and I be talking about like you know shit. Like I've talked to a few. Like I talked to about five bitches a day at least. Okay, and were you talking to five bitches a day back when you was in your other spot? Man, I ain't even have to go that hard. Okay, so basically, you just need you just need some coaching, bro, because there's certain things you ain't telling us. He's being lazy out there in Seattle. He's being lazy out there in Seattle, right? Because right. he, he, he trying to act like he, he trying to act like he doing the same shit, and and shit just is switching up. You ain't doing the same shit if that's the case. If what you're saying is what you're saying. Let me let me ask him a question. Caller, are you are you actually getting out of the house and meeting women in person? I know Seattle, they got a they got a uh, family, uh, bar team, uh, team. Sometimes. You say you, you said I something. Like, like, I go to a bar from time to time, like that. Oh my Jesus. God. Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What what are we in March 5th? From March 1st to today, how many women have you met in person and you actually went up to and talked to them in the last four days? Last four days. Be honest, fam. Be honest. Just say none, man. Zero. Man. Just zero. say zero. Bro. Zero. Uh, none. Hey, so, 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 let me ask him a question. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask him a question. 
Hey, 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 caller. Hey, how old, how old was you again? I'm, my bad. I didn't catch that. Hey, caller, 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 real quick. How, how old are you again? I'm, I, I'm, I forgot. I didn't hear that. 26. Okay, so caller, you're, you're 26. What do you do? What do you do for? What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? I do podcasting. I do internet shit. I do internet merch and all type of shit. Okay, you, you you take care of yourself or you you live with your parents? I take care. I'm I, I'm not. I'm on my own. Okay. All right. So let me Thanks. let me ask you this. So in the next five years, where do you see yourself? Shit. Just what I got now, upgraded. So so what I'm saying is, and, and the reason why I'm asking these questions, right? You know, man to man, I can see where you're lacking. It's self. See, what you're doing is you're out here chasing women with everything you have. Like all your your whole life is consumed on chasing women. But what I would tell you is, is that you need to work on self to get you some type of game to understand life is way bigger than women. Right now, it seems like your whole life is consumed on fucking women. <clears throat> You, you you didn't you, you are you telling me that it's not? Look, bro, I'm trying to overcome some shit, man. Yeah, bro, I'm I'm I'm, I'm yeah, bro, I'm probably obsessed right now. Okay, so this is where the discipline as a man comes in, and this is why I fuck with these men on this panel. You got several resources in order to help you as a man because right now. Your discipline tells me that you're not only reckless when it comes to women, but reckless with your spending, reckless with how you're leading your life, reckless with your plan. Like, you didn't think I heard the, the pure pause when I asked you where you at in five years? You really just threw that in the air and guessed. You have no plans, bro. So again, you have to understand, if you are a strong man and you're doing what you need to do as a man, women understand that you are just this fuckable guy because you are into you and you have enough to understand what it takes to be a man, bro. Right now, you're moving like a male. <laughs> we, a, a, male a male can fuck bitches. It ain't, it ain't hard to fuck bitches. But the thing that you're looking for is validation through sex from women. Mm. Like, like That's what women do. You know, but, and they call her. Eight years, just quick. Eight, eight, your caller. What, what, what concerns me is that you're 26 years old with no fucking plan, no idea, no money or anything. That's even worse than these fucking women. You need to get your life in order, young man. You are 26 years old, and you don't understand. You're on behind, almost behind the eight ball. As once you get around 30, the, your, your chances of getting that good job are going to be passed on to the young college kids and shit, man. Mm. You need to get your shit together, brother. Let me let me say this. And, and, and 50, you said something. You said he moving like a male. You know, I often say that masculine men influence women and males are influenced by women. Mm -hmm. If you listen to some of the callers, they're heavily influenced by women. In fact, oh. they're influenced by the prospect of having sex. So mm. much so that you had the one caller say, if a woman says she ain't trying to smash and he got to take her out, he'll take her out. And this is what guys don't understand. When you deal with women, they can tell if you're one of those guys, the guy that can be easily influenced by sex. Once a woman realizes she can control you with sex, it's over. She ain't going to respect you. Now, she might fuck you, but she's going to make you go through a bunch of bullshit to get it. You're going to be spending a lot of money and a lot of time talking on the phone about nothing. <laughs> I just want to put that out there, y'all. There's nothing it. wrong with wanting sex. Hold on real quick, Colin. I'm going to pass it back to you. There's nothing wrong... It's natural for us to desire sex, but when you're a man about your shit, you don't do shit for sex. Okay, when you that dude, women want to give you sex. You don't have to go out there on a hunt, like, man, I hope she wants to fuck me. No, you go out there, you just be you, and a chick is like, I hope he wants to fuck with me. And she just gives you the pussy. Y'all out there, y'all y'all are hunting like, like, like it's, if y'all don't get no sex, something gonna happen to you. you know? <laughs> It ain't that serious. He's, he's valid. He's validating himself through sex. I'm telling you what he believes that he's not valuable unless he's having sex. He, he, he wants a woman to like him and shit. He wants a woman to, to, to feel like, you know, to, uh, uh, uh give him encouragement in life. See, this is women will come in his life. I want my 
A woman will come in your life and dictate the terms and she will dictate your life because this is you're so caught up and infatuated with her, with her sexual influence that the way that you move is going to be dictated by her. What is it, a 50? Guess what his name is? Corny. <laughs> yeah. His name is fucking corny. No corny kid, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Motherfucker, man. Oh my God. Call it, get some oh, man. Man. Look, look, man. It ain't. I'm just trying to get my side hobby fulfilled, man. It just feel like it ain't getting fulfilled. Your life together, I'm, motherfucker. Don't, don't call me your you're late, late, bro. Call her. Call her. Like, call her, call her. Point, call like, her. After it's been so many months, you like, damn. Call her, Yo, you're lazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, where is that? Call her, you're lazy. That's your issue. That's it. You already, you already said it. You're lazy and corny. I'm being lazy, and you'll, you'll 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 see you'll see better results. Stop being lazy. You'll see better results. It's that simple. And uh, ha- have a little bit of patience too, brother. Have a little bit of patience and and be willing be willing to work work a little harder for what you want. And right. another, another thing too, I'll tell you is that um, when you're when you're desperate for something. It almost never comes to you because you you want it based on you want it based on fear, not not based on positivity. Mm. See what I'm saying? That's that's the difference between desperation and desire. When you desire something, usually it has more of a positive effect, and so your energy brings it to you. But when you're desperate for something, you want it because you are fearful of something else. You you mm. want it because you're fearful of not mm. having it. And if you're afraid, if you're afraid to lose something, then you never had it in the first place. So it's your mindset that's really fucking with you, brother. You understand? Right. Mouse, clap yourself, please. <laughs> Have you ever heard of some yeah. YouTubers making videos asking women what they bring to the table? You, you, you ever hear that goofy shit? Right. Yeah. Check this out. I don't know the video. Man. Have you ever heard of women talk about how they believe they are the prize? You, you ever heard that goofy shit too? Yeah. Let, let, let me tell you why women think they're the prize. Okay, and any any woman listening, y'all know this shit is true. The only thing that women got that guys break their neck to get is their vagina. So women know all I gotta do is be cute, and I got this little thing between my legs, like Steve said, the size of a quarter. I can control niggas with this, and, and half the time they ain't even gotta have sex with you to control you. They can just give you the misleading impression that sex is just over the horizon. Mm. And niggas will jump through all types of hoops and do all spend all types of money and time mm-hmm. believing that it's it's close. I can mm-hmm. today she let me touch her hand. Tomorrow she'll let me kiss her. The next day she'll let me hug her, and it's just a matter of time. This is what niggas Call do. Her, what's, Call her, what's the difference between a stripper and a regular woman? Well, you said what's the difference between a stripper and a regular woman? Yeah, what do you think the difference is? What separates them? And not the mother. After my baby mama shit, I don't think it's no difference. No, no. The only, the only thing that separates them is a pole. The only thing that separates them is a pole. They do the same fucking thing to you, oh. dumb fuckers. They will give you the stripper will like like Zach said. The stripper knows you're a fucking mark, so they're gonna make you feel what they want you to feel. They've got a mental foul on you. They do their homework. They know how to pull you any way they want to pull you. The difference between women and a stripper is a fucking pole. Women do the same thing. They can they can tell that you're thirsty, weird, creepy, needy, no spine, no balls. So they know how to play you to get what they want because the motherfuckers on this panel ain't giving them what they fucking want. So they gotta find you to fill in the goddamn gaps, man. All right. All right, caller. Hey, get with get with one of us for coaching if you need more more uh clarity. All right, brother. We appreciate the call. All right. Word. All right, man. Take it easy. All right, man. That's Ooh. it, man. I'm 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 gonna kill these uh I'm gonna kill these phone lines. Yo, these questions up. Niggas on OT and shit, man. But yeah, oh, man. I just, just want to say something real quick to this young lady right here, and I say this with love. Fuck you. And let me tell you why I'm gonna say that to you with love. Because <laughs> who the fuck do you think you are coming in our space trying to tell us what the fuck we should be doing, motherfucker? This is the goddamn problem with y'all fucking women. And I'm not gonna say black women because it's not a black woman problem it's an attitude fucking problem because you can't handle what a fucking man is saying so you want to put your fucking feminine and your estrogen and all that fucking ass soy milk on this shit and you want us to water ourselves down you know your pussy's wet let me tell you why because your fucking ass has been on this show you've been in here for over a fucking hour rubbing your fucking pussy trying to get one of us to, uh, to pay your fucking ass some attention so i say with love fuck you
Bro, she, she's been getting a verbal train ran on her the whole time. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I don't, I don't really, I don't really like women to use the word queen, man. You're only a, you're only a queen when you're anointed by the king. Facts. So don't be, don't you can't be out here acting like you're a queen with no motherfucking covering of a man. You know what I mean? That's wild. That's wild. If you if you a queen, what the fuck you doing up in here with five niggas? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> and, and to be honest with you, be honest with you, you should be preparing dinner right now. You 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 are not disciplined. You're all on YouTube. You should be stirring something from scratch right now. It's eleven thirty on the West Coast. I don't know where you at, but you should this Sunday dinner. You should be <laughs> look. They need to bring economics back for these women, bro. I'm telling you. The, these these women are out here thinking home that they're supposed to be using your yeah, home act. They're supposed to be using they they're, they're using their thumbs, but they should be using their wrists and they and they and they triceps stirring bowls and shit. They, this is what I'm saying. There it is, Miles. This is what I'm saying. That they've lost their way, and they believe they they, they believe there. yes, they believe that they don't have to do things that they're supposed to be doing. It's wild out here, though. Turn that butter, God damn it. <laughs> in the back, find maple the cow. Get your goddamn milk. Put that shit in the churn. Churn that goddamn butter. Fix those yeah. goddamn biscuits. Cut up that goddamn meat. Put it in the stew yeah. and wait for your man to show the fuck up. You yeah. fix him his fucking plate. You sit your ass on the side and yeah. be lucky if he give you some goddamn dick. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be blessed if he gives you the dick. Be blessed. Emotional damage. Hey guys. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yo, make sure y'all uh, go to go to Real Game No Theory. Uh, get with get with either one of us for coaching, man. Oh, it's down, it's down. So we do it. Go ahead. Let's let's get the better notice. Yes, and we have the Game Kings Two Definition of a Man seminar. Yeah. <laughs> And we got uh, shout out to Taekwondo, Ron Wills, Kerry K. Zagan. That they will be guest speakers, and uh, we're gonna have Mr. Lucario, the bad boy, the dating game, and the world's first masculine identity coach, Miles Cunningham. We're gonna all be there spitting that fire game. So make sure y'all get y'all tickets. The tickets will be in the link of uh, our YouTube video descriptions, or you can hit us up on uh, Instagram. You can hit me at Miles in the game on Instagram, or you can hit up Lucario at Real Mr. Lucario to get your tickets. Man, quick, quick question, guys: Is this good? Can they have access online? too okay, yeah. if, 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 okay i just want them to know that so if you mm. can't make it I, and I guess y'all have that information on the website you can, there. You, can, you can watch it live from the comfort of your own home if you can't make it live stream okay, put the link. okay let me get you here you go. i'll put the link up yeah that's the link right there you could go there to get your in-person tickets or your live pay-per-view live stream tickets all right there so make go. sure you go there and get that man is going to be fired make sure y'all get it mm -hmm. all right Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. All right, so we done. We got. Yeah, I got. I got a review tonight, man. Six thirty Pacific Pacific Standard Time, and I got a review, man. You know, it's nineteen fifty experience, man. Eight at the table. We gonna review that channel. Uh, we gonna have a great. We gonna. We, we gonna have. We gonna have a great time tonight. You know what I mean? Y'all come on through. We're gonna have a wonderful time, boy. We, we, we good on the questions? We good on the questions? Yeah, then, yeah, we, we're good on the questions. I just, I mean, I mean, it's it's just this last one, I, or uh, you know, Sam, so the chick tells you she's a virgin, and you find out she lied. Aren't you supposed to care that your relationship was built on a lie? The problem is you giving a fuck about is she a virgin or not? That's the issue. Like, <laughs> so that's, and and that's what your relationship was built on—the fact that she was a virgin, right? Oh, wow. God. See, this, this is this is how you know guys are controlled by that vagina, right? Because as soon as she said I was a virgin, he was like, "Oh my gosh, she's so perfect." Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And so, <clears throat> so if the chick says, "Oh, I'm gonna wait till I get married." Within six months, they marry. This is what mm -hmm. niggas do. They right. just speed up the pace. Oh. Is it crazy? And then, and then, of course, he, of course, she lied to you because she knew you was a sucker. Mm. Yep. She knew you would go for it because right. she knew the sex was that important to you. Right. That's, That's how I get full. Look, when women have a conversation with you, <clears throat> with the, with the goofy shit that some of y'all niggas talk about, women already know. Like Steve said, I got a mark. I know exactly how to do him. I'm addressed in a modest way. I'm never gonna let him see my tramp stamp. I'm never gonna let him see that I got one. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna let him know what I'm into. I'm not gonna let him know that I've that I've been fucking, that I love dick. 
He will never know any of that. I'm literally going to act offended when he tries to kiss me. Like, why are you being so fresh? We just met. She's literally going to play that role. Because she knows she can play that role. And you believed it. Mm-hmm. Man. Real shit. All right. Well, yeah, man. Um, yeah, get with us for coaching guys and uh yeah. and make sure y'all check out Mr. 1950 with the with the edit to table review. Oh, yeah, tonight, what baby. Time? We, tonight. What time? Hey, 6 30. We got 6 30 West Coast time, man. We out here, man. We about to we about to dive into some shit. 6 30 Pacific time. So that's what 9 30 uh Eastern, Eastern, Eastern time. All right, so make sure y'all get with that, man. Appreciate y'all for hanging with us. Make sure y'all check out the Manhood is a Skillset show from yesterday. Check out all the other content that every one of us put up, man. And thank mm. y'all for fucking with us. It has been real. The Real Game No Theory panel, man. Let's go, man.